I've never, I, I, she does all this. Oh, it's like Beauty and the Beast. If she was not, yeah, it really is Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> if she was not here, it would be a very bad couch uh-huh. and that TV, yeah. that exact TV. Yeah. And the Xbox. True. What's the, what it. was the choice with having this wire exposed, but then the oh, rest of Oh, you're going to blow his mind. Uh, you're pissing him off. That, that wire. So we got yeah. that fucking done. <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah. I bought the Xbox later. Uh, oh okay and then i just plugged it in because yeah. i don't she tries to unplug it sometimes to make it look nice you know it's not what? even too right? who are you what's that you know it's not even that's like off like a degree and a half <laughs> oh, what oh I, I couldn't care he's less. gonna be thinking about that the rest of the episode <laughs> who, him? yeah yeah i hired a guy for like 40 dollars to come fucking hang that off the internet on task really? rabbit yeah yeah you can just order Mexicans i still get to come i still get emails and make them do stuff i still get emails for those like in my my, my email from like five years or you doing it? seven years ago i saw, they deleted my profile almost immediately why on task right i don't know i have yeah. no idea you must I, have caught some complaints dude. yeah i was like banned immediately you coming get, into I'll people's get, houses like, yeah i'll get emails <laughs> <laughs> i'll get emails for like tv professional ha- hanging quotes because that was like the thing i put on i'm like yeah i could i could do that i guess because task rabbit you just sign up and they're like what can you do and you're like yeah. well, i guess i'll put toilet yep. and tv hanging and they don't check so you can uh, you can just say you can do yeah. anything. True. Well, you you can't really have credentials for that. Yeah. I guess I can tutor you math to- and I can unclog a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we have so to. So if you got, if you got some show. Chinese folks with bad diets, <laughs> I'm on my way over. What did yes. you do? Any tasks or you no? Just made yeah, a like I said, they ban. Yeah, they banned me almost like right away. Why? They, like, remo- I don't know. I you no get to do one task. Everything. Uh no yeah uh, but I still <laughs> get the up. emails from from My it bad. might not even be Task Rabbit it might be like some other thing because it was like when I was scrambling for yeah, yeah for I have work. an Amazon yeah. Flex application I get like things every now and again what's for it, what's Amazon Flex it's like deliver oh, Amazon okay. packages you're gonna deliver packages yeah I was gonna deliver do you packages. remember when I did Uber for yes <laughs> I did four rides over the course of like two years you never yeah. Uber dude never did it yeah I'd be like all right I need to get money this week yeah video games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be like I'm gonna wait till night you can do like I'll four, be like I'm more of a nighttime like driver I'm gonna wait till traffic's done which which is the only time you should be Ubering yeah. is when there's fucking traffic it is I'll weird like, I'll wait till like it's, it's, and it's, then we go to an open mic and then I'd I be can't blacked imagine, out I can't imagine being an Uber driver here just sitting in traffic all fucking day yeah. long to go into a place that has, yeah. you have no interest in yeah yeah. you're not getting up. out of the car at the end of the ride especially in Philly it was just picking up Asians yeah. yeah, it was just because oh, we were here right by the you art go museum. Again. So it was just. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I just crashed my car. So it was just. Uh, <laughs> I need. Right- I just crashed. Thank God you're here. I just crashed my fucking car again. <laughs> yeah, they would, and then or tour. It was just tourists because it was the art museum. Asian tourists. Yeah. They I want to see there. the bear. They want to see the Riverty bear. <laughs> so what happened to this bear? Somebody crashed a car into it? The bear fucking no, This is car lock, Rocky steps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they do swim to the Rocky stuff, though. They love Rocky. They Rocky. Of they love Rocky. It's a big... Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Rocky's a hit. For yeah, because sure. well, that's that's like karate to them, right? Yeah. Like, that's their thing is karate and boxing. Like yeah, no feet of, karate. No feet karate. Yeah. Yes, the soccer of karate. Reverse soccer karate. That's what they call it in China. <laughs> They actually right. chant that in front of the statue Remember every day. That <laughs> sketch we wrote like eight years ago. What is this ago? like reverse soccer? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Picked up some krauts one time and they were they were like, the city's disgusting. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, how dare I they? I was so close. How to just, dare they? Did they say did you, it like that? Because Germans, guys, Germans are usually polite. Germans are like nice. Yeah, but nobody's yeah. nice to 
a fat white Uber driver. Really? Uh-huh. No one cares. Mm. Yeah, people oh, dude, treat you kind of weird when you dude, drive those Uber. Were so mean to me. Who was? Those Korean boys. Yeah, they're tough. They they're were very fucking, top dude, down. Dude, they're bad talk, boys. They were speaking dude, in Korean and then boys. broke <laughs> one second to be like, this fucking guy. Yeah. Like, it was one of those like colloquial, or I guess, is that the right word? What I mean? kind of yeah, Koreans were they? Were, like, were they like they were, fast they were and furious kind? No, they were like oh, university. Oh, international. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Virginia Tech shooter vibes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they packed it, dude. I was driving this yeah. small ass Corolla. Yeah. Fucking five of them got it. <laughs> and the one that talked shit was like in the middle, like leaning forward. So he was like right here. Yeah. What was he saying? He was speaking fucking, you know, uh, bullshit. Yeah. yeah. And then I know one, of the, one of the sayings was like, oh, fuck him. You know? Yeah. Fuck him. Dude, I fuck worked for a him. Korean guy. Yeah. They were very much like, if they're the owner of a business, they're a king. Yeah, like he would he would come into his office and knock yeah. stuff on the floor on purpose, and the like his subordinate Koreans would come in and like pick it up for him. <laughs> he would do it as like a loyalty exercise. You said, it, you said it before that the Koreans are the Jews of the Asians. I don't remember saying they're that. Kind of, they're kind of. <laughs> you said that. I did. They're, 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 like, uh, they're, they're, they're every. They're everything. Like yeah. every pick any race and apply it to Koreans. I don't know. Of the I kind of I kind of feel that because it's like a comeback story mm. too. They are because they, they got holocausted. And they came up heavy. <laughs> like after like the fucking... They got like Holocausted and Dresden. They yeah. got like both of them. They got it double. <laughs> yeah. And they came back. And then they they came here and opened liquor stores and had their mm-hmm. daughters and get fucked by roof, me. And rooftop. What? Have you seen that? That's Whoa. a thing like the right wing guys. I've met plenty yeah, of Korean. Rooftop 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 Korean. Can, you, can you speak any Korean? I know. Anyang Aseo. Aseo. Yeah. Bikyu means move. I get had, out of the way. I had, meet, I had to meet a lot word. of Korean parents. Was that? Well, what, Korea- the, what is going on? You speak yeah, Korean. You, you, know, you can't speak Korean. Just breaking out Korean. What do you mean? Oh, oh, you know Korean, and you guys both know <laughs> Korean. You know, you know. Big <laughs> yeah. Shiba. I almost, I almost converted. You converted to Korean. I almost converted for a couple of women. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I they, learned. I was learning karate. I was doing everything. You did it. You I was doing my bar mitzvah. Karate. My Korean. Bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> you get your, you get your foreskin back from your parents to have it surgically attached to your eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> just cut it in half and it. you know Koreans love fried chicken too oh yeah, yeah. They love fried they chicken they love to fry up a little piece of chicken they do yeah. they love it they do uh, have you been to that place of Bonchon <laughs> no no fire I haven't been there real good but yeah they they crush like Craig Popeye's too. is their fried chicken good because Japanese good. fried chicken is dog shit no it's not dude, dude it sucks I can see that it's, it's, it sucks that. ass you no, see, no you see it on the menu like at a Japanese restaurant I wouldn't and like it. because people give it a pass because it's Japanese Japanese no, fried chicken. No, it's good. But in the world of fried chicken, that is the most dog yeah. shit fucking fried chicken you what can do they get. Do? What, what do they do? It just, it doesn't, it's, it's just the panko. seasoning's wrong. Yeah, yeah. they just bread it it's and just fry it. It's like the kind of shit lemon. you can make at home. It's yeah. not good. Like I mean, mommy. all fried chicken you make at home. What? Nothing. Yeah, of course. But I mean, it's like, if you were like, podcast. I'm going to make fried chicken, <laughs> you and you were a moron, you'd come up with Japanese fried chicken. It's not, it's not fucking Popeye's, you know? I mean, that's the best I fried chicken there this is. Week. Did you? I have it once. I haven't a week. had it in so long. I was I at a rest stop. Week. Popeye kind of looks some Korean. Tendies, dude. The cartoon guy. He yeah, if you does. told me he was Korean, I'd believe yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, did you actually do any karate? No, no, I've never, I've never used my body for combat. Have you ever had a sport? <laughs> have you ever played a sport? Baseball. You were baseball. Yeah, but then Jews I love baseball, dude. I had to True. quit. I had to quit freshman ball because. Uh, that's when they start taking you to the weight room, uh, and my fuck. body hadn't hadn't changed yet. Mm. I had a delayed puberty, so mm. I wasn't putting up numbers in the gym with yeah. the boys. And were they mean to you about it, or I just I couldn't I couldn't float. And then I got into debate. And you got into <laughs> debate? Yeah, I regret I never joined the debate club. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> what? That's awesome. That's we, all. Yeah, did you ever? Tight. We would have been best friends, dude. We would have been boys. We would have been best friends. Did you ever go up against any of the the like the black debate teams? <laughs> No. Have you ever no, seen those like videos? Those, Compton, the the Compton those videos debate. are amazing. Yeah, yeah. Wait, well, okay, because you you say it's fitting to be this way. Why can't it be the other way? Why can't it be the other way <laughs> if it's fitting to be one way? One this motherfucker videos. says it's just arguing. Yeah. Well, well, they, just they like also drop, they drop in too. Yeah. yeah. What well, team they, is this? Well, they do. They do. Th- there's a t- one format which I didn't do was policy debate. Mm-hmm. And it, like they do like Jeff Def Jam. You have like ten minutes. You have ten minutes to get out as much evidence as possible. So they're like they learn speed reading. Do you have to prove the Holocaust? 
Um, I, think I, I think it's settled. I think it's settled. Shane, I think it's settled. I would love to see that. The Jewish debate team versus the black debate team oh, no, as to whether or not the Holocaust Listen, even we gave you record contracts. If it happened, where are the boats? Okay. Where did you okay. slave ships? Where the boats? Listen, you sold They know you. boats couldn't happen. <laughs> How'd they get the Jews in? There's starting to be some black Israelites going in on slavery never happened. I've really? heard the North before. Atlantic the North Atlantic slave trade never happened. I'm loving that because they were they were in North America. Yeah, they're Native <laughs> Americans. I've they're heard so that before. Sick. I've heard that the black people black black people were the Native Americans. That's such a no sick such cope, thing. dude. Just be like, nah. Uh-uh. <laughs> you know they're <laughs> about slavery. They're they're, they're crunching. That didn't happen, dude. <laughs> they're crunching in those back offices at the black Israelite places because they got not like you know everybody's racist. Everybody's a psycho race. Uh huh. You know, essentialist now. So, what do you do if you're a black Israelite? Yeah, like the, even though the basic shit they were saying ten years ago, yeah, Beethoven was black. Yeah, yeah. it's like now that's, that's like, like that's, that's, that's that's they're saying that on blackish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's in the Kimmel making monologue. that movie, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> black Beethoven. Yeah, so you got to go. Slavery didn't happen. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is tough. They got to find something that somebody would be like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. what the fuck? Because now they're out on the street just saying exactly that. You know what the next, the next one is, is Italians are black. <laughs> are black. Yeah. Do you think they'll claim them? Yeah. I mean, in my book, it's that's been settled for a while. Uh-huh. <laughs> that would be sick if they claimed Columbus uh-huh. and then was Damn, like Columbus would... ruled. And then we got Columbus Day back. You know, Columbus was a Nubian Kang. <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> Came here bearing geometry. The, the, the black Israelites in uh, DC uh, that used to chill outside the gallery place uh, movie theater. Uh-huh. They, I remember one time I was like, I think I, I just saw Django and uh, I walked out. <laughs> you went out, to talk to them about it? And I was like, have you seen this movie? It's phenomenal. No, yeah. You would love it. Um, <laughs> sir, you would love it. You're going to like the end. If Jew to Jew, Jew to Jew between us. Yeah. <laughs> but I just think they're they're taking the Israelite part more seriously. Um, No, but like, they were like, they, they had a megaphone, you know, the megaphone guys. Uh-huh. They're like, they, they're like, yeah, they got gay animals now. The animals all gay. And then this white woman's like, you can't say that. And she's like, like, suck my dick bitch <laughs> he like literally got in her face it was so funny she started crying good it is just moths yeah. to a flame for white women oh, I love yeah. it. they, they can't just can't help they can be like okay i do need to say something now mm. dude there was and then a, they just get fucking destroyed my, my, yeah i love because they always try to they start with emotion that's like i care about you your <laughs> pain i can feel it but you need to be, be quiet on my terms. Yeah, <laughs> they always start there, and then and then it gets to the well, argument. They also and have generational trauma. The police. Yeah, I'm gonna call the police. Yeah, yeah. sometimes a slap. Yeah. Call in the state. I've seen one where a lady got slapped. I think she hit first and without <laughs> hesitation, dude. Damn, no yeah, hesitation, now. dude. How could she slap me? Fucking <laughs> right I back at her, dude. Yeah. There, was right a, back homeless, at there was a homeless guy recently, like shirtless dude calling himself a faggot out loud outside my house. <laughs> I've been a faggot my whole life. Just screaming it. And this I'm lady came by him. and was like, sir, there are children around here. Please stop Oh my that. God. It's yeah. like, dude, let him fucking be. What it, was, it was just my kid. I'm like, my kid's fine with him saying that. Yeah, I say it all day. <laughs> Every time I drop something. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it, lady. <laughs> How am I going to explain this homeless faggot to my children? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was having a good time. And I was like, dude, let him be. And she was like, I got it. And it's like, dude, just... That's fine. Dude, we have a serious war going on near my house. There's a group of old dudes that chill outside. It's like right next That's to my house. That's your squad. It's my squad. All yeah. day long, they're, they're, they got their eye on uh, package piracy. So they're just on the lookout. It's fucking nice. We shot down a lady on a mountain bike. She's been hitting pretty hard. It's pretty sick in black just, neighborhoods instead of rings. Like yeah. they, they just have a dude out there. Well, also the ring does nothing. <laughs> yeah, all it does is film someone. Like you just get to it. see somebody steal your shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, it what do you do nothing. with that information? Dude, but there's they, now there's an influx of like, oh, like You're right. legitimate mental patients, like younger dudes that are like, they must have got out of an institution. Are they in the hospital gown still? No, 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 but oh, they okay. come out and they're just, <laughs> it's just dudes just sitting there and then like one will just, the other day like open my door and some dude was hitting a trash can and be like, fucking kill yourself. Kill yourself is beating the fuck out of a trash can. The old dudes had a band together, but like, you're not allowed in our park anymore. Fucking they're, right. They're expendabling out. Wow. Against like three they homeless patients. They're expendable. <laughs> against like there's three homeless patients and there's a lady on a mountain bike who steals groceries. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get you gotta get like a uniform for you and the old old dudes. I might. Like guardian angels. <laughs> like red berets. That'd be, that'd be sick. sick. Like a yeah. They'd be pumped if you got them a throwback like oh. jackets and berets. So yeah. like an MC club. Yeah. 
You got to be like, if we got beef, we got to we gotta break it down with break dancing. That's how we used to do it back in the day, you know? <laughs> What's that? Who's that? Who's that guy that ran for mayor as a Republican? Curtis uh, Sleewa, Sleewa, yeah. Sleewa. I didn't yeah. vote in that last election, but if I did, I would have voted for him. What, uh, what would he do? He like he was uh, the guardian he was the angels. Guy that started the guardian. Oh yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that white dude. What? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a Puerto Rican or something. But oh, yeah. is he? Yeah, he was. He would. He wore the beret. I would have never yeah, known. Yeah. They're the yeah. new shapeshifters. Too. I'm and usually pretty good. Well, there's no way you're gonna win. It's like you're not gonna because you knew like no one's gonna have a mayor that's wearing a beret. Yeah. You know, and he refused to take it off while campaigning. Yes. So it's like, okay, so you're banking on people being just, like, I want the beret guy, yeah. which was never going to happen. He was a Republican with a beret? Yeah. Yeah, he was a Republican. Yeah, Whoa. yeah, yeah. he was a guardian. I mean, but it was, was like, like a tough beret. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was really? like special it was forces. A tough beret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was like, yeah. He was like, I wear this to beat up dudes on the subway. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's from like a type of New York that's been gone forever. Yeah. You yeah. Know? I mean, that, like, the I think death he was. Wish. Wasn't he good in the 70s? Wasn't it like actually. Those guys were good until Death effective? Wish 2 came out and then, <laughs> then the, 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 they became fascists to want to do vigilante crime. Nice. So he wanted to like go beat people up on the subway? Well, yeah, I think it was hell that. here. Also, yeah, I think those yeah, guys, I, those guys got like wrecked all the time. <laughs> They'd be on the train. They're like, "Leave that girl alone!" And they just get, get stabbed. And get, yeah, <laughs> get fucked up. They were like nerds, basically. They're like, "Let's start. Let's start the, the hall monitor." Gonna- <laughs> like the, you ever see the Patriot? And we're gonna get berets to scare them off. Like the you know? Patriot front. You ever see videos of them? No. Show, they'll show up places and just get the fuck beat out. <laughs> Are those the guys with like the riot shields? And they're like. They think they're Spartans, so they're yeah, like, hold yeah, the yeah. line. <laughs> and dude, just black dudes are just wailing on them. <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah, we missed the boat of counter-protesting. Or we could have, like, clashed. I never clashed in the streets. It would be fun mm. to clash. The clash, yeah, like, one more. Just, I want one last clash. We should just start a middle. So when Antifa, when Antifa and fucking Proud Boys or whatever link up. But like, guys, stop. Like, we, don't, we don't vote. True. And just go in. That's not a bad idea. Like, both you guys are gay. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind if this. If we so kind that's of like counter counter protest. Yeah, yeah. Just shut it all down. Yeah, true. And bring weapons if we need them, just to keep the peace. Just bring firearms, just in case. Just bring firearms. <laughs> What's the law on rifles in this city? Can we get all? Is there you any, can't like, have guns. You can't. Have not, it's really not a bad. Gun? Yeah. Although no, didn't nothing. the Supreme Court just what? change it? Yeah. <laughs> Shouts out, dude. The Supreme Court. We're gonna get guns. I think, is, yeah, I think you can have a rifle. Okay. In the rest of the state, I can walk the streets with that. Yeah. In the rest of the state, you don't need any kind of like permit or anything. But in New York City, can I bear arms at all? I think you can now. Yeah, it's some weird thing where there's not, there's technically not like anything against open carry, but to even have a gun, you gotta like, you gotta pay like ten thousand. You gotta be rich, basically. Yeah. You have to to write a letter. You can only be (laughs) going to a firing range or from the firing range home. Gotcha. That's like I think the that's only the people rule. that had guns in New York City were Robert De Niro, Donald Trump, and Anthony Cumia. <laughs> Those are the only three people with like a concealed carry permit. <laughs> Do you remember that when 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 Ant like uh, he got into it with that uh, black lady? Yeah. Do you remember how he got canceled? Yes. He was like clearly just filming some black lady. Yeah. And then she was He's like, probably, I don't want to. Never mind. What? Go ahead. No. no, it's funny to imagine him falling and be like, look at her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, then, I'm not sure that's what happened. Yeah, I don't know. He was because he was like, I was taking a picture of the scaffolding. <laughs> like, Is that his defense? Yeah. Uh, but so uh, but then Penn Gillette, <laughs> Penn Gillette posted on Twitter like afterwards he's like you should be thanking Anthony Cumia right now and then posted a picture of Anthony Cumia's concealed carry permit as if we all like owe him an apology for not murdering that black lady in cold blood. <laughs> what was what was their altercation about? He was he was clearly like just filming some black lady being like look at this baboon or whatever the fuck he was doing. <laughs> And then she saw him recording her and yeah. then she's like, fuck you, you know, and like started yeah. hitting him up, you know, uh, like, and he was recording the thing. And then he posted it on Twitter and was like, these people are all fucking savage animals. And that's why he and got then, in trouble. Yeah, and then Sirius was like, yeah, yeah you got to go. Yikes. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Uh-huh. That's just nuts. To Unless start. he like, was but, just taking a picture of the scaffold. Right. Whom among stuff. And he got attacked. That was the story. And then took to Twitter. The, Ant, Ant's problem is he doesn't know when to stop doing radio. You know, like you can't walk around the streets doing fun bits. Like, let me record this. Back <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then call Little her a man on the street. <laughs> and, without yeah, a camera. <laughs> and, then call, and then call her a savage because you can't claim that it's, you know, just irony or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Attacked yeah right. Times Square. <laughs> yeah. 
It's not yeah. a good bit. No, but the cover <laughs> story I was taking, because if I recall correctly, he was like, yeah, this scaffolding wasn't here, and now it's here. And it's like, oh, what, is, what a shocking thing to see is scaffolding <laughs> in midtown Manhattan. That would be funny if the real story was him looking at scaffolding and being like, ma'am? And she's like, shut the fuck up. And he's like, what? what, what? Yeah. yeah. Ma'am, as you were. That could have happened. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> there is that side. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ma'am. Good day, ma'am. Mm-hmm. He could have also been shit faced. And he's like, what the fuck is this building? This fucking bullshit. Yeah. There's that. He might have been photographing scaffolding. Yeah. Well, got, you could be drunk enough to take a he picture. He got canceled of in like 2001, didn't he? Oh, uh, he got canceled a ton of times. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. But they kept going, and then finally they got him. Yeah, he go pretty hard in the paint too. He, he went. He did like, get. He went pretty hard. And they <laughs> yeah, got he him. canceled like when Doctor Dre's The Chronic 2001 came out. You had to be going so you could yeah. say faggot back well, then. Well, the way it used to work is like you, you could, could do. You could, do <laughs> you could get away with a lot. You could back do. Then. You could do racism or homophobia or whatever, but as long as it seemed ironic, and then and then it progresses where it's like, okay, he's serious, but at least it's still funny. Yeah, and then once it gets to the point of like. Look at this! <laughs> look at this lady. Look, look at this animal. Black yeah. lady. I mean, that's yeah. the thing. Even in the world of racism, like just remarking on some black lady in New York City is a, as absurd and unnecessary as remarking on the scaffolding itself. <laughs> so, like, even in the also world of very racism, true. yeah, you're like, what the fuck? Wow, who cares? you're just trying to racist. Yeah, right. Yeah, he might just really that reaching at, at straws there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, damn, you're not going to see another lady like that until. You go around the corner on the, yeah, exactly, on the next block, <laughs> yeah. go into the next Dunkin' Donuts and wait until somebody orders a blue coffee. <laughs> and then you'll see, you'll see that same lady. It must have sucked if he thought like that was the one, though, to be like, dude, this is going to crush. Yeah. Yeah. What? This is like, fire. Fuck, mm. fuck, this video is fire. <laughs> that tweet. Wait. So did he tweet the video? Uh, or just I, I, I don't remember. Didn't he get his whole career doing that? Someone's going to electric shock OJ. Like video wasn't that like what what set put him on the map? What I thought it? it was getting uh, mentally retarded men uh, boners, <laughs> like getting porn stars to grind on mentally retarded men. I th- I thought it was. I mean, maybe that I mean, too. That's a good bit. It is a yeah. good bit. Yeah, the True. man is an institution. Yeah, we can't <laughs> we can't argue that. It is funny. Yeah, in a better way. Funny. Yeah, yeah, getting yeah. canceled for just trying to record a a black lady is really. Yeah, it's funny. fucked up. <laughs> so that was like Howard Stern had a big sexual component. We got to. I want to start adding like a lot more. We sexuality. should get a Sibian in here. The fact that we're not like like hard and there's naked chicks all the time, kind of fucked yeah. up on yeah. our part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, gonna do that for, we're gonna do that for the Adam Friedland show. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna bring, bring back. On, we're gonna chicks. bring on public intellectuals and then get them to do. <laughs> get them hard. We got yeah. Eleanor Clift on, and we're gonna guess what her pussy smells like. <laughs> Car dog, did you find the post? I think so, yeah. What was it? It says the cunt animal kept walking into my arm. The cunt animal. <laughs> Oh my god, god dude. Whoa. Oh Brother. my god. That's such a funny wish to the universe. <laughs> well, it's. It, <laughs> so I, I, I hope she's, she's beaten to death by star. someone of her own race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I can cool. say that. I, I knew Patrice, so I could say that. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of. That's crazy, man. Mm hmm. Imagine Patrice doing that for him, like as in like an angels in the outfield situation. <laughs> Just Danny, Danny Glover yeah, coming down. Hey, so are you now, homeboy? You're gonna have to save Ant. You're gonna, you're gonna have to save Ant by beating this bitch. <laughs> Just an angel pushing a black dude yeah. faster. You gotta beat woman. this black lady to death so Ant can stay um. on the radio. So he doesn't try to do his own shit back in Long Island to domestically <laughs> abuse a 12 year old girl on camera. Yo, <laughs> really? <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> the Adam Freeland show, the cast coming in hot, dude. Yeah, it is. It is funny though. I'm the like, producer. Yeah. I'm the you produ- are the producer. I'm not on the cast. That is the He's hat the and you got producer. going. I'm just the executive producer. It's kind of the, the show. Shug Knight of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's going to dangle people over balconies. My thing, my, I, I got to figure out like how far we want to take it behind the scenes and then let Adam kind of box himself in, you know, 24 so seven. I got to put, dude. yeah, I got to put, I got to put it all, you know, we got, I got to give him like a wholesale, like we're going to do all this yep. and then yeah. you can select what you want. Sort of like Costco samples. Yeah. Oh, yeah, access, yeah I like that. Know? How yeah. do you feel now that you're going to assume the role of star? 
I I uh, I mean it was my idea. It was, it, they kind of made me. I mean it's a yeah, good. I mean bit. you're a reluctant leader, dude. You're, it's it's a good like bit Washington. to to get flamed on the podcast for six years and then have f- Nick force me to change the show to my name. <laughs> 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 I mean, it is a pretty good bit. It can't, I can't. It can't be me. It, it can't too. be my show because for me, I was like, we have a brand, Nick, that we've built for six years. Why are we dispensing with this? And he's like, No, dude, this is the move. You got to trust me. That's yeah. the next evolution. My yeah. producer had the vision. You know, it's I over. Your calm down is over that's the past yeah, adam freeland show brand new thing yeah all new. you guys we're, are building a sick studio yeah we're well, yeah, still we, using the old patreon to fund it <laughs> yeah <laughs> but other than that brand new yeah we're yeah. transitioning the patreon the really no, i listened yeah. i did my research i listened oh, really? to the episode so there's gonna be a dream segment yeah how, yeah, how, how concrete is that idea <laughs> what's well, a dream segment we gotta get matt me. fucking loves dreams, loves yeah. dreams. for real have matt on oh, dude. you come on do adam's dream we, we go did through a adam's thing dream. where I love that, dude. yeah we spent 40 minutes kind of describing a dream of me getting raped in the 1940s yeah, in a giant good. buick i listened to it yesterday while you i was had a dream? building did a you really city have a dream about that? i had a dream but <laughs> Wait, kind like of put a little flavor yeah, like, on no, like it. A, <laughs> sim <laughs> city <laughs> shit uh, is sim city still going <laughs> it's called cities or something i forget city skyline dude yes i was building a very beautiful city? city yeah it's the same thing uh. Oh okay. Wait, what? What was your? So you had a dream. You did you actually get raped in your dream? I did have a dream. I was. I mean, not to get real. You don't mind me asking. But See, yeah. I don't remember any of this because my mind is always the next step. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing next? True. It was yeah. zoot suits involved. Yeah. No, I, the dream was that. The dream was that a guy had a gun to my head. Okay. And I was in the front passenger seat, and he was trying to force me to fillet what him. was the gun was this though? a real dream i think or the was type this... of gun is more it important. was a dream and i talked to my therapist True. about it and he said it's not that you're don't worry you're not gay it's a it's a you're afraid of humiliation and you're really? not a homophobe yeah so wait did that you really present could... the idea to your therapist that you might be gay or did he just say no i was like up? what the fuck that's was what that? he pays him for yeah I I was, was, is your first gay. homosexual it's part of the show act budget is we got a guy that tells him he's not well it wasn't a homosexual act it was at gunpoint you are it was at gunpoint so it was a rape it was more about the power than the true true but then i wrestled the gun from him and then i sucked his dick and then i killed him no but in the dream i then had to shimmy over he just the, you're, you're, to, you're just put the gun to his head and suck his cock. <laughs> wait, what was that we, we said that on come down once where the joker puts a gun to his own head and sucks <laughs> it was very funny um no, but then I, had to, down, I had to uh, shimmy. stay tuned for the adam friedland show this a, it's a new experience we're transitioning we're center left uh podcast now we're nice we're Lib's mainstream now, Hollywood. Yeah. No one's doing lib shit. Yeah, True. we're doing like lib Hillary. Shit. Like, yeah, they're either fucking out. fascists yeah. or yeah. they're like you know like fucking communism. Hell yeah, coffee shop stuff. You're yeah, just yeah. pro Kamala. Yeah, we're That's all, awesome. we're, all in. we're pro Kamala. Like Kamala. Kamala. Yeah. Show, we're pro Kamala, pro yeah. Israel. It's Kinda time that's for the Adam Friedland show, and the time is now. <laughs> and it's <laughs> and it's the show that belongs to Adam, and he's yeah. the star of it, and it's his time. She's hard to watch. You almost feel bad. I feel bad like she's watching rough. her give speeches. I'm like, oh yeah. man. Her well, habit. it feels like she's just in wherever they keep her. Where does she stay? She's at the Naval Observatory. <laughs> she's just in there the... getting fucked up off wine coolers all yeah. day. Abusing and then she tries Doug. to leave to go to like Kazi or something. And yeah. she gets accosted by a reporter that's like, what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> what do you literally do? Name one thing that you do. And she's like, um, good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling movie phone. Like whatever is it, like yeah. pops into her brain comes out of her mouth immediately. <laughs> Sleepy kind of sets her up though. Sleepy mm-hmm. Sleepy knows what he's doing. This might be the worst. This might be the worst president <laughs> vice president combo as far as speeches go of all time. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I believe. I'm not really a speech guy, so I don't really No, know. I mean yeah, just yeah. hearing them publicly speak. Yeah, it stinks. Yeah. It's not compelling. It's like these guys are very bad. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Bush was funny. Bush was at least funny. Mm-hmm. Cheney didn't really talk. Cheney shut up. Fucking Dick Cheney. Or, uh, Pence what's is name? a good orator. Pence was, Pence was a phenomenal. Pence was kind of fire. Yeah. Yeah. Pence, Pence, Pence was fire. Pence, Pence, Pence wrecked forever. Kamala in the VP oh, debate. Oh my god, dude, that was amazing. It was a blowout, and then yeah. they all had to be like a fly landed on his head. Yeah, he right. lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know, dude. Yeah, when she stepped in it with the vaccine shit, that was hilarious. Yeah, she says she won't take it yeah. if it Trump made it. <laughs> yeah, if Trump made the vaccine. Then not, not not on my watch. Not for this queen. What did she even say? Yeah. What? Uh, she said that she wouldn't trust it or yeah. something. 
Yeah. I hope uh, Anthony Anthony should make a. a, a <laughs> Anthony should say a prayer for Kamala. Do you think so? <laughs> Anthony should. Pr- Anthony Cumia should pray on Kamala. <laughs> Summon a cosmic homie. Danny Glover's yeah. like. <laughs> Danny Glover's like that one might be a little bit too far, man. <laughs> I don't know if we could pull that one off in heaven. <laughs> you have to do it on your own now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's uh didn't I think she just came under fire for saying something like trying to link abortion to slavery. Uh, nice. I I just glanced at the news. I don't I don't want to slander our vice I, president. I glanced at the news and heard that she was reaching out to s- potential to see if she could run for president. Really? In that league. What? She won Yeah, she's been one. I feel like too. the next time we see her, she's just permanently going to have one eyelid closed. <laughs> <laughs> like there'll just be one shut every time she's speaking. Yeah, yeah that's, she's she's kind of fire though. Kamala, she kind of looks you good. Go I mean, it's good. It's good. People no, no, need to I think take she, it. As a center, as a center left, yeah, you yeah, yeah, mainstream it. left. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't. You guys got to vote for her. I can't. Yeah. Be, I can't yeah. be talking Ooh, shit on Gavin Kamala. Newsom. There's yeah. a picture of That's her and, and Montel Williams in the '90s where she's she's really she Newsom. Looks good. Newsom is wild to me because that guy's whole career is dependent on him doing a Barack Obama impression. <laughs> yeah, like he's just doing a Barack Obama impression, and then morons are like. That guy's familiar for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I mean, watch him speak. It's like, like, a, like, it's like a professional comedian level but impression of Barack Dude, Obama. he put out. I saw an ad of his that was like literally just a smug. Yeah. He's like, uh, "Do you still believe in freedom? Yeah. Why don't you come to California where we believe in freedom? Don't yeah. live in Florida." But he does all <laughs> the Obama <laughs> stuff. He's fuck? like, he's like, freedom is, it's good. You know, he like does the uh, shoulders. He does like all the like. So you do this. Watch, yeah. Find the video. Of, yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they all do this move. It's so fucking weird. Yeah. But he's got this. He's like, but it's like, like kind of like tempo. Uh, the same. He like, yeah. It's like somebody doing a like perfect impression. He doesn't do the to, voice, just the mannerisms. I'm excited to see the that's wave terrifying. of dudes coming that are gonna do Trump. Well, that's the thing. It's oh, like yeah. Obama is is the Democrats Trump. Like they're both once in a generation. Mm. And there's like mad guys that like Ted Cruz has tried to do Trump before, and it's like it's impossible. Yeah. You don't yeah. have the sauce, man. You, you don't. You don't have the. You, you like that's what I don't think Kamala oh, has the sauce. That's my. No. Own, that's my. Yeah, own. They've all gone. All the Republicans have, the have like, gone Buttigieg ahead to head with Trump at some do, point. Yeah, and he's he's like blown them the fuck out. Yeah, you know. So he's you can't like try to be that guy <laughs> if it, there's a there's a clip of him being like this guy's a fag. You know? <laughs> yeah, you can't. <laughs> yeah, that's why they're like no one can run. Yeah. If he decides to run, any Republican that wants to have a career in the future right. can't run for president this year. Yeah. Because yeah. he's going to call them a fag. Yeah. And everyone's going to go, yeah, I guess that guy is a fag. <laughs> <laughs> Every Republican's going to be like, yeah, fuck Marco Rubio. No, the only thing that'll fuck Trump is that he's still like a vaccine guy. Because he came and up they with removed, it. They removed yeah. him. Yeah. And while he was gone, like, you know, all of all of the Trump guys were like, and Trump hates the vaccines. Yeah. And now, right. you know, I mean, he's still like, Project these are beautiful Warp vaccines. Speed. Yeah. 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 The beautiful vaccine. Guard mm-hmm. dog, you got a fucking bulge, bro. Guard dog has a big ass dick. Guard dude. dog, dick and nuts. <laughs> you got are it like that. Huge. Yo, you move your hands. Don't a, adjust it. No, I pan the camera. The <laughs> Is that the balls? Thing, dude? Wait, are you hard right now? <laughs> no, it's that's just soft. His, no, he you, told a story one time. It's just we're gonna show he, his bulge he, on camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this isn't know. this isn't Legion of Skanks. Yeah, for you. yeah. We gotta We're bring gonna... out an intern and make yeah. him yeah. say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> zoom in on his face. Double yeah. check that shot, Gardini. And yo, Guard for dog, real, make sure Gardini, your tape that thing down, man. We're trying to fucking talk. It's distracting. <laughs> Talking, just, yo, dude, don't be fucking Whoa. graphic, dude. What's he's a fuck? great comic. This guy over here, oh, Guard yeah. Dog. Yeah, 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 he's very, very funny. He's very funny. He's a superstar. Yes, he he's the next big. Wait, what'd you say at Funny Moms that you thought they didn't like? Oh, you said a trans thing. Oh, yeah. We do our show at a trans bar. I should have told you. I should have told you you're behind. You guys are going to have to change that. Lines. Now that you guys are like center left. What are you talking about? They're you our writing go. staff now. We got to be super pro trans. <laughs> to be center left, you got to be super pro trans, but also have no idea what trans is. Yeah, or true. Yeah, yeah. And you also be it, you disgusted by them in real life. Right, yeah. <laughs> you think trans is your son getting a Karen haircut and riding a Razor scooter? Right? <laughs> and outside of that, you're not really familiar with what it is. <laughs> yeah, no, we're pivoting hard, dude. I'm selling yeah. the fuck out. I don't care. We're going to get big celebrity guests. Simon Pegg is going to come on the yeah. show. I heard. Yeah, you told me this. Yeah, I Nick's just gonna emailed get vaccinated I, on live. I'm gonna get, uh, vac- I'm gonna get yeah, vaccinated yeah. every <laughs> episode. Let's <laughs> 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 prove how safe the vaccines <laughs> are. <laughs> every episode, I'm getting a new fucking yeah. Elmo. What's band-aid. your guys' take on science? On science? Yeah. 
real or no? Do you believe um, it? I don't know. There's some science, I believe. Like, we were looking at that study yesterday about whether or not Down syndrome guys' sperm it's is a good question. <laughs> viable. I just want this That's fucking the science pand- I trust. I want this pandemic <laughs> I believe that, to yeah. end so we can go back to the real questions of if can two retards have a normal kid? Yeah. That's what science needs to be doing yeah. instead of this this crap with this and monkey folks, pox. There's and- only one way to find out. <laughs> And then we cut. Yeah, you guys yeah. will this if this is your Adam Fridge show, we cut video of them fucking. <laughs> we censor it, obviously. Because we're trying to get on ABC at some point. We're trying to sell this uh-huh. show. Once the pendulum swings back, yeah. you guys will be there. <laughs> Once the pendulum swings back to forcing mentally disabled people to mate at gunpoint. Yes. When do you we'll think be- the pendulum's gonna swing back? Yeah. Guys? Yeah. Center Do people yes. say that to you after shows? Oh, constantly. The pendulum. Yeah. yeah. I, every yeah. It's like, they say that. It's like what pendulum? What are I you mean, talking about? I mean, don't get me about? wrong. There's definitely. I've said it. Oh, you yeah. said the pendulum years thing? ago. I, yes. Yeah. I stopped once everyone started being but is like, that, "When's how, the pendulum going to swing?" That's back? how people's uh, well, minds work. Is that it's like, well, things got way too woke this time. So when the inertia hits back again, fucking segregated restaurants. <laughs> well, that, that's going to be a thing. No more interracial dating. We're going to have American bandstand back. Full-size uh-huh. sedans. They think it's just going to be fucking like 1957 immediately. Most of that would be sick. What? Full-size sedans? Yeah. yeah. American, American bandstand. bandstand. American bandstand. Yeah. If we had like two shows. I think big suits yeah. need to come back. And those, big suits. That Capping is a interracial moment. relationships. Would be nice. There are uh, truly too many. <laughs> too many <laughs> interracial relationships. Sure. It looks like you're in Sim City after a while. You know, what, yeah. you know, where, the, you know where it, it, it like jumped it. a shark? Interracial I'm, relationships? What? Blasians. Yeah. What are you talking about? Because they had it's a the hot... coolest kind of person. No, it's not, dude. What are you it's, talking it's, about? That's kind of why 9-11 happened. Is the <laughs> because 90s. of the blazers. <laughs> yeah, no, really. The, the 90s, we reached this kind of like humanity realized it's like we're going too far. Like we had the Matrix and it's like this is too good. It can't be real. Yeah. Late 90s, Rough Riders, all that fucking Chinese shit black people were doing. Yeah. And then they were like, let's actually mix. And then the the like whatever the, the yeah. collective consciousness was like blow up the towers, wreck the economy. <laughs> yeah. Forever war. Uh, you you know. think Kamora Lee just set it off? Uh, I'm trying to think. Kamora Lee the, Simmons. That was who's Russell the most, Simmons, like, X Y. Who's the most like Blasian? Blasian. I mean, I think Wu Tang started it. True. Yeah. No, but that no, that goes back to the 70s. Black guys were in the oh yeah, 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 true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kareem like, Abdul Jabbar. Yeah. Good friend of the podcast. Great friend of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking dickhead. <laughs> Did he get mad at the podcast? Yeah, he wrote a fucking article. Kareem? <laughs> Kareem trash me. The yeah. Skyhook? Yeah, dude. You should do a character. Wow. We should do a character, Korean Abdul Jabbar. <laughs> and it's a fucking, uh, it's a ablation. <laughs> who writes articles That'd be great That's for the Wait, what did he say show. about you he was just trying to sell a book so he he wrote a cnn op-ed about how much i sucked <laughs> and Wait, then his was... son stabbed the guy kareem yeah kareem's yeah. weird son stabbed oh, wow. the one of, it sounds like one of ant's prayers was answered yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man that's so, that, with the that is theory. so funny to pray for black on brack black brack on brack on brack <laughs> brack on brack I'm, I'm still learning how to speak no you're blazing i'm blazing now yeah <laughs> i'm pretty Center excited about Blasian podcast Yes. You guys yeah, you guys have something cooking that's fucking wild right now. What? Center left Blasian podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Blasian talk show. True. <laughs> We're going to have, look, this show, Adam Friedland show is going to drop. There'll be video. You guys do need to get, for real, a black DJ. Yeah, Like, please. you know how every late night's doing DJ. that shit? Yeah, we're going to have a, 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 a Blasian guy that's got a sword that he plays the piano with. <laughs> Just elevate Blasian voices <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. You have only Blasian guests. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, we'll have Simon Pegg on every episode, and we'll yeah. ask him, "You ever fuck a Blasian? <laughs> you ever?" He's like, "You, you asked me this yeah. lost episode." Mm-hmm. I accosted him the other day and asked him to do my podcast. Yeah, who? Simon, Simon Pegg. Pegg. Yeah. We saw we ran into Who's him Simon Pegg. He's, he's, uh, like, he's a like a Sean Ricky Gervais type. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. I but, just i I've, I've been saying he's on the British Office. Yeah, because it's like the, I don't he think might he might as well. He wasn't, yeah. but he might as well have been. Yeah, yeah. He's one of those guys. This guy. You know, saw Sean of the Dead. Of the dead. I, the dead. I don't Sick. know any actors, dude. It's the personal hot weakness fuzz. of mine. Yeah, hot fuzz. He made- I only know John Travolta, Will Smith, dude. That no, looks like Coldplay. No there. fucking clue. 
He made like good movies like ten years. I, I believe it. I, don't yeah. know. I can't not, name not anything a, he's done. In it's the purely lap, my fault. Hey? I don't remember yeah. anything. He's on the he's in the <clears throat> reboots of Star Trek and the Mission Impossible franchise. Yeah, but that's yeah. not funny. He just he's talking, like a now, real actor. He's now the like, he's the comedic relief. Is he the? Is, does he play yeah. the Russian yeah. guy in the Star no, Trek? No, he's a Scottish guy. Oh, he's oh he's yeah, Scotty. Doc, yeah, Scotty. Yeah. yeah. What's his political? It's weird that you could do that with Scottish people, but they couldn't have a character on the show that's like Chinese, Chinesey. You know what, what I mean? are you talking about? They had George that's the, the only type of racism that still exists three million years in the yeah, future. Yeah, we can still trash Scottish <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking drunk. But they beat never me got up. rid of that accent. You <laughs> sheep fucker. Yeah. yeah. Um. No, they had George Sakai on Star Trek. Yeah, but they yeah, didn't but they call him calling. anything. What do you mean? His name I was his, Sulu. I thought his name was. Uh, <laughs> Gay blation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to hear more about your debate team days. True. What type of topics were you fucking with? Uh, I know you remember your big dude. wins. Yeah, I cry. I I be I used to be like You're pretty good. much You're pretty smart. much every woman I went up against. Really? That was easy money right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They'd fall in love with me by the end of the debate. <laughs> <laughs> what are some What um, are some of the subjects? You I did on? Lincoln well, real quick, Douglas. We should, debate. we should have women on for you to debate on the show. That'd be awesome. That'd be well, nice. that's like that's the format of the new show. Is like we're male guests. We're that building we, a set. Male it's guests gonna, that we appreciate. Yeah. Sexual Jordan Peterson built though. a career off just going on yeah. shows and eviscerating <laughs> women in <laughs> debates. Just crushing women dude yeah he got that one lady the one time that really british bad. lady was just like uh, 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 are you being mean <laughs> he's um, like what yeah that was good she's like well you're being rude to me now <laughs> she started losing yep well, well, I, I don't recall consuming any of his content and his like rock. it was easy. jp jp's yeah. got some good shit yeah i went to the zizek jp debate in toronto oh yeah i forgot you went to that with my ex i just went to one i met him like yeah, what are you two months ago. I love the pod. He was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah that must have been you? bloody hard getting canceled." Mm. <laughs> they, they do, yes, it's a miserable thing. <laughs> like all that shit. I was like, "Yeah, it sucked." I just sucked. remember him being like a pronouns guy, and that whole debate is like stupid. Yeah, it's like, yeah. what does it fucking matter? But when it started, he was right. What do you mean? It, was he though? Because the whole thing, because yeah, Ben he, Shapiro would do the same thing. It's like I'm not calling you a woman if if you're actually a man. No, no, he would do. He would say if somebody asked me to call them by that, I will. Yeah. But the second the government's mandating it and making it illegal for me not is to, the government doing that's that? weird. Yeah, that In Canada, it was. C-15 uh, or well, something. Canada, Canada exactly. has a lot of dumb fucking laws. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. So when it started, he was absolutely in the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. And he was like, "This is a slippery slope. This is going to be pretty shitty if we keep going." Yeah. If the government's going to be like, you, "You better say that." That's but weird. Did, did that happen though? Uh, shit got pretty gay. I think some yeah. ladies when he go to jail. He did kind of. Some call. lady might go to jail in Sweden. But Canada, for, Canada, say, Canada was what? Canada doesn't have years. like free speech though. For Canada was already around yeah. the same time. I remember they sent some like comedian. They have these like human yeah, rights tribunals. Happening. There was a comedian that made fun of some like little boy with cancer, <laughs> yeah, they, and they <laughs> him put him in like jail. <laughs> Where was this in Canada? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, funny. just happened again. It keeps happening. Canadian comedians keep getting locked up. Get locked up. But what, how does that? Jail. What do those laws actually look like? Because if a trans person goes to Starbucks and the barista is like, "Hey, nice dick, Mister," <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, that should probably. That's written on the yeah. cup. I You're think you should asshole. be able to like, yeah, to like, sue Starbucks if somebody does that to you. Now you go yeah. to jail. You get locked up right away. I think it's like they, they you in Canada. If you, you nice jail? dick, Mister, a trans at Starbucks. Yeah, jail, that's safe. In haven. Canada, though, not that's here. Sanctuary. In Canada, that's on, that's jail on site time. in Canada. That's that's about ten yeah. years. Dude. You want to go about? Drop the gloves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the hockey fight on site, dude. Good, good fight, bud. <laughs> Just whoop some dude, some transphobe's ass. Did they do land acknowledgments when we were on tour there? No. As they're that supposed was, to. That's a new thing. They're, they're supposed to be Peterson like. Was right, we're on, there is no, we're going to be acknowledging. There is no land way to do any, you know, We're doing Adam Freeland shows doing a land acknowledgement every episode. We are on sacred Jewish ground right now. <laughs> Native this Americans. Is Manhattan, okay. Native, <laughs> Native Americans of all groups. It, okay. <laughs> there's nothing you can do for them. Any attempt to like make up for the past to Native Americans always makes it worse. Yeah. Because they mean? got like really fu- like the land acknowledgements. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks. There's like, not, there's never a Native American yeah. around to be like, thanks, guys. Yeah, right. And also, yeah. what does it mean? Yeah. Oh, it's like, oh, this used to be your house. So we're gonna be quiet for 15 minutes. We're gonna say sorry. <laughs> we open this yeah. new movie theater. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't do anything. Changing sports teams' names. It's it fires no. me the fuck up, dude. Yeah. yeah, I'm so mad. They're the Cleveland Guardians right now. Yeah, it's a, it's I'm mad about that. What is that? Guardians. Dude? They're it the doesn't... fucking Cleveland Guardians, dude. Yeah. Guardians of the Capital, dude. It's it fucking... sucks. True. <laughs> 
we're guardians of the democracy and they came True. in there and stormed the Capitol to save us True. to True. fucking stop the steal. <laughs> yeah, you're actually right about that. There's nothing you can do at all. It's like, yeah, guys, we're yeah, we're sorry. Yeah, yeah that was another bad. Years passed. Sort of like even if you gave even if we gave them the country back, even if like, all right, we'll pack up all That'd the blacks, ship sick. them back to Africa, and then we'll move back to Europe. Because we're I mean, we're not taking them to Europe. <laughs> what do you mean? mean? <laughs> No, so <laughs> so we look, the coolest, we say we do that. <laughs> they're we, the best. We, part. we put everybody back. They're literally we, the coolest thing we got going right now, yeah. dude. They're the only we, thing driving we, culture. Honestly, we, American we culture up everything. No, I'm yeah. saying it's we better just, than any other culture because we have cool black people. In this I'm country. saying no, look, said, hit the stop. rewind button. On I'm not everybody. Are, we, I know, we, I know what you're going saying. Back. I, I yeah. follow the logic. We put everything back where it was. And we're sending you guys back. I'm taking. I'm taking some blacks back to Lithuania with me. Whatever you want. I'm, this is I'm a saying, com- all right? this well, is a conversation. Ask, no. Europe's gonna be pissed when we send all these Jews back. Dude. I have to give True. them. I have to give them predatory record contracts. It doesn't matter what Europe wants or what Africa wants. This is a conversation with the Native Americans. Okay, all right, all right. Are they right. Europeans being asked though how they would feel about an influx of uh, American Jewish immigrants? Who are oh, Europeans? they didn't want us there. <laughs> you know, who we should saying? ask yeah. is the Ukrainians. We should send them all to Ukraine. Oh, yeah, those True. guys love Jews. Yeah, they need more people there. <laughs> yeah, just like uh, I have to join the Azov Battalion. Uh, yeah. As join what? the Nazis. <laughs> As a cheerleader. <laughs> so do you guys need any help with any of this? Oh, I don't God, know. the rockets. Damn. I don't have any combat experience. You're like a Mulan. Oh, you have to disguise yourself like yeah. Mulan. <laughs> Where's the church? <laughs> Easter is right around the corner. <laughs> you would give yourself a pink nose? Hey, fellas. <laughs> so you, you rewind all the migrations and then... Is that the thing you Americans. guys do to make fun of uh, us non-Jews? What do you mean? I'm just saying, if I want to blend in with the Azov Battalion... You get rid of that big nose. I what I don't I, what the, the fuck else could I do? I was planning actually like when we thought Come Town was ending and we're like it's over it everything's end. over it's over I was gonna get extensive <laughs> plastic surgery and then just change my name try to start start over again. <laughs> we never talked about this. This, this was teach. my idea. I was like I've ruined my good name. I'm called a homosexual, but I'm one of the most cyber bullied Jews on the internet. I'm gonna, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck else oh, am yeah. I gonna do with my life? I'm going to, yeah, get extensive plastic surgery, move to Miami, probably <laughs> change my name. Like a podcast witness protection. Yeah. That's a good place for Jews to hide. Would you, if you yeah. change your Miami, name, they never good call. suspect. <laughs> if, you ch- if you change your name, would you go more Jewish or less? No, I'd mm. go like a uh, secret Nazi. I'd be like, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Like Jose Bunchen. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I mean. But now, now I'm a now I'm a center left talk show host. You know, uh-huh. Save my life. That'll get you back in good graces. It'll get me back back in good graces. I've I've done a lot of bad things. I'm I'm gonna make up for all of them on the show. Yeah, me and Simon Pegg. I wonder about that a lot. Just if I'm gonna be 50 and look back on like the last 25 years of my life and be like, what the? I fuck? think you get old enough that what you don't fuck? you don't care, right? True. That's true. I don't know. You're like 50 years old. True. You know, yeah. It's like I'm gonna die soon. Who That's gives true. a fuck how much? Yeah. Thirty nine hundred weeks. I looked that up the other day. Get thirty nine hundred weeks, roughly. Yeah. Women get forty four hundred. That's how different. many weeks we have. Roughly, average forty thirty nine hundred weeks. I've sold through half easily. Dang. Mm-hmm. So you're looking at another eh, fifteen hundred, dude. That's deep. Fifty two yeah. weeks in a year. It's fifteen hundred. Like two thousand good weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Fun weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when it used to be the only thing that they'd say you regret was like tattoos. <laughs> and, you know, like you're gonna look back and regret those tattoos it's like yeah now my decade of racist podcast <laughs> <laughs> i'm prolonging my fucking man child existence Damn. saying things that aren't even funny to me anymore because i know what the formula is because that's what the pigs want yeah <laughs> yeah so it's a black lady and yeah. uh you know, she's going to Dunkin' Donuts. So. I still just <laughs> clocking in at the office. Like, <sighs> yeah, what if you know Grant was Chinese? Uh, I will That's say, it. dude, we are you? It. You might be on the highway to collecting Nazi memorabilia. I am, dude. You're like you are? very close. Look at that. You know, some people might say this is already Nazi memorabilia. True. You know, who would the Native Americans? True. You're welcome. <laughs> To all of the Native Americans who are living on reservations. It would be cool to let America go back, dude. Abject poverty. Yeah, you got to figure. We should just show. Well, my point was. We is should that, say, let's that see. It still would be bad. 
It's like that. Then they'd just be living in the ruins of cities. What? They get sick shit, dude. What do you mean? Would sick shit? No, but we get, get to. No, we got to take Miami. all our jets and fucking. We, we got to take Miami. all our stuff back. <laughs> yeah, no, they, don't they get to keep our stuff. Their stuff. You know, it'd be it'd be like Battlefield Earth, basically. <laughs> That's how they would be living. <laughs> <laughs> we would I also mean, have to separate them back into their original tribes. I do think I they think got to figure that. I out think white people have fight. 150 yeah. years to get to space. I think that's the only fair thing we can do right now. They white think it, they need think to get to space. To space. <laughs> right. Prometheus, we've, yeah. we've done enough, dude. We've woke, done enough. people we think re- it would be like Matrix too, but it would actually be like Battlefield Earth. Yeah. If we get if they had it, if they had white it, people have done enough, dude. Time at this point, space. we're like Jordan at the Wizards. It's like, dude. It's look, we did it, dude. Somebody else needs to come up here and start. We need a Kobe, dude. True. Now the the end result, like Tez, like fucking Elon Musk has got to figure out a way for us to live on the moon. Do you know his? We can all go to the moon. There's nobody. We're not taking anybody's home. Yeah. Nope. And we'll just be up there and we'll just watch. Man, they're smearing. We're just the gonna fuck see what that, happens. Dude. <laughs> they're smearing him so hard right now. Well, dude, you know what happened with his dad? Yeah. His dad knocked up his stepdaughter. Or something. Yeah. But he hears dad's defense. She was hot. That and he was single for twenty years, dude. I don't think mm-hmm. his dad did anything wrong, though. I mean, dude, his he dad was made for Annie years. Hall, Manhattan, dude. Celebrities he with Commonwealth lot. parents always the Commonwealth parent always goes hard. Mel Gibson's dad. Whatever. Remember how people were like, Mel Gibson's racist, and then his dad spoke, and yeah, people yeah. were like, Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> he was like radical Catholic, right? <laughs> yeah, but he's I'm like Commonwealth uh, child. Uh, yeah, Gibson, yeah. Put, out a, like, dad, Gibson put out a Kumia prayer on that voicemail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, he put out a <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. Kumia prayer. <laughs> I don't know if we can get a whole pack. <laughs> Dude, he was close with Danny oh, Glover. Yeah. 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 That's true. Boys with Danny. They were right. boys. Oh. He's like, look, you know, I'm not an angel, right? We're friends. <laughs> <laughs> we were in a movie together. <laughs> Dude, I've given him the pass multiple times. Mm-hmm. Mel? That honestly, now that we're going full Hollywood, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rehabilitate his image. He's mm-hmm. such a good actor, dude. If dude. we could get Mel Gibson on on the Adam he, Friedland show, though, I would Daddy's love home. to. And I'd, ma- I'd make him apologize to me, <laughs> yeah, know, for all those things he said about us. What did know. he say? He said we were in the media. Tell me True. where he was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what? Give me what he said that was wrong. Uh, I think, wasn't he getting a DUI when yeah, he said he it? Yeah, he was getting, he was getting, getting a DUI. Like a black he's allowed too. to get yeah. a DUI. Once you get a DUI, what you say well, should legally be expunged. Yeah, what's what's crazy is that it's like, was it like, was this like a Jewish cop? Of like, course it was. In Hollywood, it's all Jewish. I think he just opened the yeah. door saying it. Really? It. Yeah. They were like, step out of the car. And he was like, fucking Jews, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny when you're getting a DUI. Like, he's fucking Jews, man. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Well, wasn't it like pointed? It was like, you people. He was like saying all this. Uh-huh. Like directly to the body cam. <laughs> I don't. I don't really remember what he was saying. He, yeah. Yeah. He, no, he was just he saying. Him. He was just like the Jews are setting me up. Like yeah. they might have. Do you remember fair. when Barkley got a DUI? What did he say? <laughs> what did he say? He was like, he's like, I'm be honest, like officer, like I'm going to get my dick sucked yeah. right now. <laughs> And like, if you ever got your dick sucked by this bitch, you understand why I'm driving right now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Barkley is the fucking greatest. He's, He's the, the king, best. Dude. He's the best of all. He time. just got points this week. Was that? He, did you see him? Uh, I don't know where he was, but he was like, "If you're gay or you're trans, I love you." And then he trended on Twitter for saying that. Barkley said that. Yeah. We got to say that on our show. <laughs> I mean, we, I feel it already, but we have to say it. How did Barkley say that? I don't know. It just Why are you so upset, week. bro? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Dude, that's not Why my chuck, so dude. <laughs> my chuck wouldn't do that shit. He's, He's the only Republican. Chuck Remember? fucking rules. I think he threw a guy through a fucking window. Yeah. <laughs> through a pane glass window. He's a legend. Cleveland. This is a la- the latest evolution in his thinking. He might be like, yo, if you're gay or trans, I love you. He, might, he probably has like a gay cousin now. And he's like, fuck. He's probably just had a montage of shit he's done in the past. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is, it is crazy. Dudes. It's such an old man thought, but you walk around and it's like, fuck, were there like, was like everybody trans and no. they just didn't have permission to do trans until like two years ago? No, yeah. It was just a like, lot of them. In, in Brooklyn, yeah. It's no, spiked. Even Has you it go spiked elsewhere. like 400% or something? <laughs> I, I, I think it's spiked I haven't like a seen lot. this statistic. I think in, <laughs> with kids, I, with I children. I spiked quite a bit. I think the children yeah. have been trans and hard. The children are... That'd be fun though. If you're eight, I'm like, I'm going to be a girl. Yeah. I yeah. want huge tits. So I want to be a big. If your bimbo. parents are being mean to you, yeah, I, you, you just for like, my I'm seventh a girl. birthday, I want to get bimbo fied. 
<laughs> and what a huge see a brat stall laying on your sister's would you, floor. You know, it's like, I want to be that fucking if, brat stall, dude. If you would have, <laughs> I want to fuck that brat stall so bad. I want to become her. Dad, <laughs> I want to be Latina. Do they have <laughs> brat stalls? Do they have? I want to be a big booty Latina. What do children's toys look like now? Because they can't do. Stop dolls. it! You're getting me fucking hard. <laughs> Shut I feel up. like like the dolls are you're, you know that's like a minefield, right? To make dolls. Yeah. Yeah, you can't make it sexy is. toys anymore. Yeah, it's got to all be puzzles. <laughs> It's gotta be those shit toys from the Discovery Channel yeah, store. Yeah. <laughs> a puzzle with, with like all chains that are stuck together. together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so what so, the fuck is that? That's a good toy. Yeah. So you have a son. And he's, you can play with it for ten seconds. Yeah. You do this twice. The what? Whatever that thing was. Gift shop. Gift shop. The like that science museum thing. gift shop toys. The thing that expands. The little like sea slug kind of thing that yeah. you put your finger in. I used to love those. Those are good. You could put your dick in that. Yeah. You know, mood True. ring. Yeah. Mood rings are tight. Yeah. What? So you have a kid. You have a boy. You was my favorite <laughs> from the gift shop as a kid. Giant penny from the Smithsonian. Oh yeah, I love giant that. Coin. That's a good gift. Yeah. Where they like mash it? You got crank into, it. Like, no, no, yeah. no, no, not one of those. They make like coasters. Mm-hmm. It's like a big. Oh it's like shit! A big, yes, of course. Like I know a big those. penny or yeah. a quarter. Wow. Yeah. You All know, right. if I said that. You'd be, I would, I, mean, I would be I in your that. corner 100%. This is a new era. <laughs> this is an Adam Friedland show. Let me, get, let me get your take on this. So if you, yeah. you had a, if you had a son, your son trans and he's like, I, dad, I, I don't know what I'm doing. You have full design of my female body. What would you do? Oh, how would, I you, get to, how would, you, how would you mod them out? Um, I would probably try to make them look like the woman that I've cheated on his mother with. <laughs> And use that as like a power play towards her. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. I awesome. get I yeah. get him Jack's arms. <laughs> metal <laughs> arms. <laughs> but he, and he's like, How is that more yeah. like a woman? Yeah. And I'm just be like, it's just tight. Just yeah. hand him a You're picture fun of Sonya Blade. <laughs> yeah. Just be like, Doc. Yeah. I'm gonna make him Laura Croft. Do your best. Yeah. I want square titties. My <laughs> son needs to have the tightest pussy, Doc. Do it. I would you go can. high pussy. Really? High, like up, high up, up here, where the dick, exactly pussy, where so the they dick can is. still, yeah, so they can still <laughs> fuck. You know what I mean? Because it's like I want you to be dominant. You're not gonna be laying on your back. That getting was that fucked. Marlon Wayans <laughs> bit <laughs> that we. You Mar- oh, I'm sorry. I'm am I stealing Marlon no, Wayans? No, no, no. no. Remember when we were in the cabin? We watched. We watched his special. Yeah, and he did some demented thread about like his son, <laughs> his son being gay, or and then. And then I don't know where it was going, and then finally it got to where it was going, and it was that he wanted him to fuck ass. Mm-hmm. He was no, like, he and was th- "That's that's my boy because he's fucking ass." Yeah, I think that's in like the standard black comic toolkit. Yeah, I think <laughs> so. <probably. laughs> if my if my son gay, he fu- he the one. I got to him. introduce my lady to Tom Myers this past week. That's awesome. Oh my he, god, he was. I went to McGooby's. And they announced that I was coming to Magoobies, and Tom fucking smashed me on the comments. He was like, "I hope you guys have Chinese food." (laughs) Whoa, that's what I love, Tom. This is what I love. This is what I love about Tom. Don't hurt him. (laughs) This is what I love about Tom. Is that like it's like a it's just it's it's schizophrenic because it doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? So Chinese people are going to come to the show, (laughs) even though he's racist against Chinese people? It doesn't make any sense. So then I got to show we. We listened, dude, on the drive back from Pittsburgh this past week. We listened to "Make America Innate Again." Yeah, the Too whole way, dude. amazing. The whole way through, uh-huh. it was, it's fucking crazy, mm-hmm. dude. And the, the, Ian was in the back seat. He was the one asking for it. Finance was like, yeah. "Let's listen, let's listen to it." Mm-hmm. By the way, dude, you guys ever do a weekend with him? No. Uh, oh boy, that's tough. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I can imagine. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dude. He loves living in the moment. He's he such does. a little cocksucker because yeah. he'll get me. <laughs> he is. He's like, he's like, he's like if the, like the, the live, laugh, love signs yeah. had like alcohol spilled on them in some sort of radioactive lab <laughs> and then a person came out of that. He gets me too. I'll be, I'll be at the cellar and I'll be like, hey, hey like. You got to like, I'll be like, yeah, come on the road with me, dude. It'll be fun. And he's like, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Second he gets in the car, he's farting. Yeah. He's like, what? You're He just becomes a fucking monster. Last time I saw him, he's like, hear me out. You give come town to me and Mike Racine. I do it in my apartment. You and Adam keep a percentage of the money and we make it a new thing that's amazing. Be and like, Ian. I mean, just he get, wanted, yeah. 
And I was like, we're not. <laughs> how about you guys give us your yeah, thing? So how about, hear me out. <laughs> give me your podcast. <laughs> Hello, sharks. Yeah. yeah. Damn. No, I, I don't want to be mean to Ian, obviously. No, we He's love a good guy. Ian rules. Yeah, you can't we be love mean to But, him. man, that's a lot. High energy. Me and dude. his energy don't match. High energy. Yeah. He's just very optimistic, but yeah. optimistic in a way where it's like he has to be to hold so himself So he doesn't do together. drugs. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's Absolutely. like. Absolutely. like, this is your journey. Yeah. Like this, that this has nothing to do with me. I don't need to be super excited about going to Panera Bread. <laughs> he, kept, he kept asking for Scott to be his intro music yeah. some band. I kept yeah, he did going back Caroline's. to the sound booth and say, "Make sure it's it's raining, man." <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't know I was the one doing it. And he was like, "They keep playing it's raining, man. What the fuck is this guy's problem?" <laughs> so he was so mad at the sound booth. That's I was funny. like, "Turn it the whole way up and get it to right where it's it's raining." <laughs> <laughs> it was so loud. There you go. He's like, "What the fuck?" I told him to play. And he knows. He knows every fucking bullshit band you've never heard of. Yeah. Really? that's the conversation. That's it every time. Yeah. How many ska bands are there, though? Mighty Mighty Ballstones. Yeah, that's one of them. Real Big Fish. Real Big Fish. No doubt. Does that count? That kind of does. Yeah. 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 That was a cool period when Gwen Stefani got obsessed with Asian ladies. Yeah, the hard girls. Yeah, that was exciting. That was right time. around that same time. That was an exciting time in my life. What do you call it? What is that? It, like Italian, Asian? Because Blasian works. Oh, wow. Stefani is Italian. I never realized she was Italian. I never thought about what she was. Stop, Stefani sounds Italian. Yeah. Right? I've met, like a, I've met yeah. multiple, I, I would say two. Two white chicks who have fully just immersed themselves in Asian culture in America. It's yeah. pretty sick. They like only hung out with groups of Asian friends. It was always very, it was like weird to see. Because it's a male trait. Yeah, true. Yeah. Exactly. They last samurai. I saw but, two girl yeah. last samurai <laughs> in America, <laughs> and I was always so like, in, like, how did you set this up in your it life? It was a nice girl fantasy to just be surrounded by minorities and be the best one, <laughs> like the last samurai. Be no, like, I am the best shitty. samurai. They treated her really bad. No, yeah, yeah. The dudes would all fuck her, but wouldn't like, and no serious relationships. Whoa. And the girls all just like planned against her. That's all. Awesome. She continued to stay in the circle. Were these inner city Asians? I don't know. I mean, they were, they lived in the city, but I don't think they grew up in the city. Okay. I think they were from like other countries. Oh, sick. Yeah. They were like, uh, maybe she got like into some weird, like Asian studies. Was she major. at school? She was, was I think she did in SKU. I see. I think she was you in were SKU. immersed in Asians? In your SKU? SKU? No, you I, was, I worked with the for Indian the Korean bros? beer distributor. I thought you were the Indian my bros. Indian bros. There was my Indian bros and my drinking buddies. He I went to an engineering of him in Indian bros. I went to an uh, in, like an engineering school. These Wait, guys are like business Indian, majors. Indian. I feel like nah, these guys were like American dudes. Everyone, ever there's a type of Indian guy that's always just somebody's friend from college. Yeah, <laughs> like and then when like, they get married, you're allowed to wear the costume. Yeah, they're always they're, yeah they're yeah, yeah. they're marriages. Yeah, like a guy named like Vic that's always like always he's like oh what's up man that's awesome that's like yeah. uh, the only thing he ever says. He's Our like Indian friend in college, over. I didn't get the invite to his wedding. That's apparently sucks. like. But yeah, my boys that went, they were all like wearing the fucking genie costume Fuck. and stuff. And I was like, that looks so fun, dude. You're allowed to do it. And apparently he pulled up on an elephant. What? Yeah, he, he pulled a Prince Ali. Was it an arranged marriage? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know what it was. I think they're good, honestly. Boy. Yeah, they're, 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 they, they got that right. That's, they got that's that right. actually a good idea. The arranged marriage, they should just have arranged pussy. You know, where that's it's a like Jordan Peterson point. Yeah. By like, the way, <laughs> they should, they should actually, actually. Yeah. It's like you want to cut down on school shootings. Yeah. Arranged yeah. pussy. Arranged pussy. Everyone there. Everyone gets to hit the number twenty in their life, but exactly twenty, that's and it. that's decided you by your time parents out. early on in life. Oh, so they they're they're going to give you twenty lovers. Yeah. That's and you can only fuck twenty times total. Uh, or you just get 20 women 20 just the holes? 20 times we'll start there 20 times yeah oh you gotta save those. you gotta burn through it's those. up to you to, <laughs> it, it's up to you to break week. the law outside of that but yeah you know, yeah yeah 20 arranged fucks and then i don't know what you do as far what's jordan peterson's point we'll just say, we'll repeat what he th actually I forget thinks. exactly what it was i think it was like women need to stop being so fucking oh he was, called, he was talking about hypergamy <laughs> or something from uh online dating gives women access to like the top two percent of dudes that like the dudes they desire they have like a direct line into them sick dick so then it ends with like it ends with them just like dudes fuck all the chicks and like none of the dudes get access to pussy anymore and that's now they can just email chads basically now they're yeah. gonna flip the bloody game they're they just gonna flip game. the game board over flip the game yeah. board. 
they can't but historically, win. They really there's the an answer to now that. Now they want chaos. Now you're talking the Joker. Exactly. That's a myth. No, that's exactly. as old as time. Here's, here's that's why he's, that was, that's, that's low key. Here's why he's wrong. Because <laughs> historically, the answer is like you just find all the guys over six feet that look like models and you kill them. True. You just kill all of the fucking chads. Yeah. That's the answer. Mm. It's not doing a podcast where you're like, we should all have <laughs> a certain amount of pussy were allocated by the government every year. <laughs> You just kill the top <laughs> Tinder guys. Those are gonna be tough to get. Yeah, uh, you use, nah, you can kill those. You use use the, the, yeah, them good. Them. Yeah, you, you use the, them. the beta sigma males that are good at computers to hack the Tinder database. Yeah. Find out who those guys are and systematically eliminate. Show up and rape them. Death by them. firing squad. I think that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think then, he I think he wasn't I don't think he was saying like allocate pussy. He was just saying like this is gonna create a bad sitch. Yeah, it's like all the yeah. babes are going to like four dudes again. But he's what is the bad right. situation? Like a recession? Like no, what it's is just, it? no, fucking, it's just fucking cum jam dudes. It's just yeah. lost jammed up in cells yeah. with fucking but then what is access that? to AR-15s. Yeah. Does that because Japan Hasn't has it? it. That's what Japan been like is. that though. No, you were in a small town. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You had to pick like yeah. yeah. You'd be out doing stuff, and a girl would yeah, see you yeah. doing stuff, and be like, "Man, I guess I'll fucking marry that yeah. guy." I'm fucking every Japan story back then. Is Japan like, is he like kept that. asking. Yeah, yeah. I was dating other guys, and he kept asking. Yeah. He killed them, and then yeah. yeah, a couple of them went to war. They didn't come back. Nobody so fucks fuck in them. Japan. Like those guys, like forty yeah. percent of fucking. men don't fuck. Yeah. That's what's up. And then they don't have like mass shootings or anything, or like yeah, killings. but they're subdued with panties. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those dudes just get panties. <laughs> the dudes that the incels in Japan just literally sniff panties and whack no, off have, and have, go have, back to work. They have dude. vending machines, like used yeah. panty vending what? machines. Yeah. They love panties we and then they go back to work. Ago, yeah. And then, as far as I can tell, like the worst thing they have, they have like a debt crisis or something. But is that like that, an asthma inhaler for like possibly shooting up a mall? <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> not today. <laughs> dude, you should sell panty candles in, in Japan. What? That would probably make good money. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Panty candles? Yeah. Yeah, I guess Like so. diptyque, but with, with uh, <laughs> just like woman, like cunt juice yeah. smell. <laughs> yeah, like what's her name? <laughs> that actress did that. Oh, she already does. Oh, uh, Goop. But, but yeah, that's why women should be around to say, you better be fucking selling Fergie. that over there. Yeah. Did Fergie sell a pussy candle? No, Gwyneth Paltrow. 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 Yeah. Really? It's a reasonable guess. Yeah. No, goop. That's what it was. Fergie. Pussy yeah. candles. <laughs> Fuck you, come on with Fergie. Because Fergie pisses Fergie. herself. You know, that actress. <laughs> Fergie. You know, the, the actress Fergie. <laughs> Taking a guess. Do you uh, think Fergie was hot? Yeah, she was. You think so? I thought she was hot as shit. I was always kind of skeptical. So. Yeah, I was, I was never. Like, I was. She was, I like, her. She was like, she was like Shania Twain. Where it was like one of those uh, female celebrities where you just assume is hot because they're famous. Let me see yeah. if I'm wrong. And then you get a closer look and you're like, good uh -huh. fucking lord. <laughs> it was like Shark that for me. Yeah. Yeah. Ellen was so famous. I Shania just Twain didn't have teeth. <laughs> I couldn't keep myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of our friends masturbated to Roseanne one time. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a last ditch effort. <laughs> where the last ditch <laughs> ever was yeah. what? He just, it was like a long, it was like back before like the internet. And I mm -hmm. remember he That's told what us Jordan Peterson is warning about. <laughs> He's like, someday people are going to be masturbating to Roseanne. <laughs> Fergie was hot. Let me you see. So? Yeah, she was hot. She was hot. I yeah, never, she, I, hot. she never she really hot. got me. And I think she's older there. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. She, looked, she had like a Carmen Electric. Undoubtedly like, hot. Yeah. I don't know. Not to I me. think she, uh, yeah. I don't think she got, you know, I think she aged out of it, but there was a nice phase when the black eyed peas were at the top. Yeah. When back let's we, get back retarded. We still was say our word. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, they changed it. The R Let's slur. Get it started. It's it started. Yeah. Ooh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm telling. Actually, wait. I don't. I mean, that's back when they were hot. I kind of, I kind of don't mind that. <laughs> that's kind of a Lola Bunny kind of look. Mm. It's not great. That's Fergie. That's Fergalicious. I mean, definitely. I, I don't would. Know. Now I think I she's hot. I don't know what it is about that picture, but it's kind of turning me on. <laughs> now I kind of like her. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she was hot, dude. Yeah. Come on. Shy Twain. Oh. She got the visor. She is hot. Shy Twain's kind of hot. No, no, Shia no. Shy Twain's hot as shit. You got to look. That's There's, her? Is that Shy I mean, Twain dude, or is that just some lady? Twain. That's her now. What? They had to fix her, dude. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. Dude, I have no idea what Shy Twain looks no, like. No, when she, she like, she good. descended from the mountains, she was fucked she was up. She's Canadian. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Who's saying, damn, I feel like a woman. Shy Twain. Twain. Yeah. yeah. And that was after the first surgery. I'm going to do Shania Twain, 19. When they gave her teeth. No, she was hot. She was no, fine. She, she's, she's, she's always you're hot. Wrong. Wrong. Nick, you're wrong. Am I confusing you're actually her wrong. with somebody yeah, else? Yeah, dude, she's so... Dude, Shania Twain's hot as shit. That's Shania Twain, red carpet, like 1997. 
Yeah, crazy. She's, bro. Yeah, she's Look at 11. She's crazy. Great. You're wrong. If you, no, you're wrong. Why is Shania Twain? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, she's insane. Look at yeah, her on the cover dude. of Shania Twain, Up. She's the, oh, Damn. Shania Twain, 1995. Actually, I should, this, is, this is crazy. Yeah, she's yeah, debate, what are you talking Here we go. That's an old pick. That's wrong. It's Beautiful Southern <laughs> 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 This is fake, dude. Come on. Oh, actually, it is. You would, a, you would have. You'd love to. Have I have settled on this. <laughs> I'll find the fucking documents. Don't this try to style evolution. Don't try to <laughs> try and fucking shake me down with a couple of you Google searches. This is crazy. Oh, here we, here might we be. Go, here Who am I thinking of? You're, 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 no, 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 no. You're leading some credence to your theory. No, she, that's, that's hot fine. as shit, dude. Uh, that's fine. No, this is after they had to like fix her. Shania Twain might be a couple guys number ones all time. No, they did definitely. Something happened. They did something to her. You had Maybe Julia. I'm thinking of, Matt, yours is Julia Roberts. Oh, yeah, Julia you know Roberts what? I'm thinking so of Celine Dion. I'm sorry. Okay. Celine Dion was the one. Celine Dion had a bit of a greyhound look to her. She yeah. was never hot, though. No, yeah. Celine Dion was the one that was, like, fucked up back in the day. <laughs> Cause she was, yeah, Holy she was, shit. she was from like the mountains. She look was from up, like the Canadian look mountains. Her, Celine Dion look up looks her like an husband. extraterrestrial now, yeah. dude. Look at her. <laughs> no, she descended from. Yeah, Holy she descended shit. from. She looks like a Holy fucking shit. alien. Look up, look up her husband. She's married these, to her this, manager. These were the kind of freaks we sent over to take the Native Americans' land, <laughs> <laughs> and they stayed. Like they set her up. She was like the yeah. fucking scout. Yeah, Celine at the Dion. Forefront. Celine Dion looks like yeah. a gray. Shania Twain. I'm fine. Sorry. I yeah, apologize. Yeah, it was. I mean, you're, confu you're confusing your white All women TV. look the same to me, you know? <laughs> As a homosexual, all women are just, you know, they're like Koreans Yo. to me. It's all the same thing. You're telling me, you're telling me you could take a pass on that? Who's Which that? One? It's like an 80-year-old Celine Dion wearing What is like she wearing, a giant <laughs> diaper? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a diaper that covers her, the whole top of her body. She's wearing like a loose bikini. Yeah. How old is she, though? Like uh, 87 years yeah. old. Yeah. I mean, she looks better than me. She's 54? <laughs> Still, like, <laughs> Celine? That. No way. Yeah. She's what? 54. That's no way. Not, no way. Celine Dion's she's not 54, 54 in that dude. picture? She's not 54 if she's born in March. Th oh, not even March 30th. <laughs> she's not 54 if she's born March 30th. <laughs> no way. <laughs> she's 68. No, she's born at 68. She's 54. That's kind of hot. She's 54 I can get into years that. old. What do you Maybe. mean you could get into that? I don't think you could physically get into that. <laughs> Her pussy looks like it has ribs. <laughs> it's a rib cage. Yeah, she's got, her pussy has its own skeleton. <laughs> Like fucking joints and shit. Dude, why are you trashing Celine? Yeah, because I, I think she likes it, dude. I think honestly, we're trying to get her on the show and she responds to this. True, you could apologize to her. You like should get some, yeah. What type of other what what type of guests are you thinking about? What what other uh, public intellectuals? Icons. Okay, public yeah. intellectuals. Um, I want what's his name? Uh, the guy, the professor from Harvard, the black guy that was yeah, in the Lowry? Matrix. Uh, 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 Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, Lawrence Fishburne. Yes. Yeah. Um, what do you want to talk to him about? The Matrix. the Matrix. Why wasn't he not in the new Matrix? Yeah, what <laughs> happened with that? What kind of opinions did what, you uh, uh, unleash uh, to the trans director of the new <laughs> yeah. Matrix movie that they didn't want you in the movie? Because um, you know that's what happened. That has to be it. Yeah. He has to be transphobic. Yeah. He needs, get, he needs an answer to that. I want to get a couple pedophiles on the show, see what that's all about. That'd be cool. Nick doesn't like I keep making this joke. Nick doesn't like it. Yeah. I just want to see, you know, no one's trying to help them out, you know? So the Pedos? Yeah, yeah. You know, we should we should just see, you know, what what their side of the well, we story We should get is. them on the show the same way Chris Hansen does. But when they show up, they're like, there's no 13-year-old, but you're not going to you're jail. You're on a podcast. Yes. You're our yeah. guest of honor. <laughs> and just, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? What's new with you? Uh -huh. What's your sign? You know, how uh, did yeah. you get into this I'm kind wearing, of stuff? I'm wearing pigtails and like a fucking one-piece pajamas yeah, 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 and stuff. Yeah. I'm actually a man. Be funny. Dude, that if you lure pedophiles and interview them, that'd be the best thing ever. Make if you don't talk, we're gonna give you we're gonna give you up to the police. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, have and a podcast give them up to the police that. anyway. Yeah. Then have the police come in at the end of it and anyway. Still have the police spear them yeah. out in the front. Well, have, them sign, <laughs> have them sign a release. Yeah, you know, so be a get better show, hidden camera show. You lure pedophiles in, they're like, Look, none of this is on camera, but we do have the evidence against you. You're gonna have to go to fucking one fourteen fourteenth street and rob the Chase Bank and bring the money back here. Or we fucking ruin your life. Yeah. And then that's a great, that's like a business. 
Yeah. Because then you could just lure pedophiles in. They have to rob banks. And then once they're like, no, somebody set me up. Because no matter what, if they're going to jail. I've never seen this pedophile in my life. Right. Your (laughs) option is go to jail as a pedophile or go to jail as a bank robber. Yeah. So it's like, even if like they get caught, they're still doing. They're going to be a little hush about the pedophilia thing. Yeah, exactly. So they don't get butt fucked. Right. You it's actually get, a really good you idea. Yeah, that's slaves. why I'm the executive producer of the Adam <laughs> Pedophile show. slaves? Get pedophile slaves. Get Lure pedophiles, catch them, and be like, you're mine now. No, they're they're not hard workers. They yeah, a lot of those dudes keep, on that show. They are you out of your thinking. mind? Pedophiles are the most hardworking people in the world. <laughs> yeah, but they're, they're on <laughs> one thing. drive like eight hours. They work really hard yeah. on one thing. But like if we're like asking the most them normal pedophiles, to like they have like an upper us, middle class, they're like white collar guys. Like Jeffrey Epstein is probably the most famous yeah, pedophile go. of all time. And it's like, that's just the one of those kinds of guys they caught. Like you're insane to think that there's one Jeffrey Epstein and not probably... Hundreds yeah, but you of can't death. catch a rich pedophile. I know, but that's what I mean. How do you think he got there? They said, oh, yeah. Je- everything Jeffrey Epstein did was so that he could fuck children. Yeah. So not only did he become like one By of the By the way, most- your theory or your idea was exactly what the CIA did with Jeffrey Epstein. What do you mean? They what were like, theory? we caught him being a pedophile. Now we can use him. Yeah. To lure it. We can make him do our bidding or yeah, we'll destroy yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, You know what's funny is they used to do that with gay people before it was like just okay to be gay. Like they would just fucking like have a, there was a, like, uh, like Roy Cohn did that a lot. Like he was like a homo. So he would be like, well, now that I've fucked you, I can, you know, like manipulate, yeah. you know, you or whatever. But that was, who was that guy? Craig Spence. He, yeah. he got, he he got caught like. Kind of sounds what women do in general. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like now that I've got you in my apartment. Now that I fucked uh, you. And yes. blew you. You have to come with me to this place. You could also lure <laughs> pedophiles in and just do fear factor. Yeah. That would be tight. You could lure you could pay the fucking dude who hung that TV up. Be like extra 100, whoever he Pay eats them this. to be gay or? No, or not gay, but just do Fear Factor with oh. fucking TaskRabbit dudes. Yeah. Dude, sending pedophiles out on TaskRabbits and taking like 50% of it would be tough. If you started pimping out pedophiles for like yeah. very menial labor. Yeah. And like, yeah. if not, I'm going to ruin your fucking shit. You yeah. got to learn drywall. Go t- you got to learn <laughs> 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 You can Listen, command you an army, disgusting dude. Disgusting creep. Well, those are the only two ways the CIA has to make money is, is selling drugs and... and pimping out children via blackmailed pedophiles yeah so if we take that business from them they'll just kill you yeah probably they'll kill you right away yeah. if you get into blackmail pedophiles yeah they probably get you remember like, that's Seymour, our Seymour laughing about that the other day it's like it's like for some reason everybody that like criticizes the cia like very publicly they make a career out of it they're like and here's what they actually did well time to fly my own single engine plane <laughs> yeah, across yeah, the yeah, country yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if you should get your pilot's license if you're going to make a career out of shitting on the cia that's, yeah that's true yeah you're really handing it to them i'm center left dude <laughs> I'm True, pro, you're pro I'm, pro, CIA. I'm pro deep state. Nice. Yeah. I'm pro <laughs> Epstein killed himself. <laughs> we gotta we gotta really pivot. Mm-hmm. That guard was Epstein, sleepy. Epstein so. not only did he kill himself, he killed himself because of ranti ra, ra, rapid rabid anti Semitism that's now in the form of like uh, anti Zionist rhetoric. Uh. I mean that is partially true. Yeah. We can agree. That Epstein Harvey would, Epstein, <laughs> Epstein would have still be alive and face trial if Americans w- were a little bit more sympathetic to the plight of the 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 Israeli people. Yeah, it's true. I mean Harvey for sure. Yeah. That's anti-Semitism. Yeah. Yeah. Why they get Harvey? Mm-hmm. Cuz he's a powerful Jewish man in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. One of the only ones. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 that was fucked up. Harvey? Harvey? When they when they took him down. <sighs> yeah, they, he did. Yeah, he did what he had to do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Was he gonna knock it head? He didn't even get head, dude. His no, penis his had rotted off. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. it was. Yeah, he was, it was just beyond, eating pussy. No, he got like some kind of he. So he had yeah. like apparently like the end of the road with dick pills is like you got to give your dick injections. You have what? to give it like like. Like the, yeah. oh, you know, like, oh. the fucking, like a Pulp Fiction, just fucking. yeah, 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 like Narcan, basically wake your <laughs> oh dick up. Oh my god! And so he would have like these injections, these dick injections, and I guess he like got some kind of infection from the injections. And oh. there's like some type of like gangrenous infection you can get where it's like in an hour your dick and balls are gone. Like Jesus, just a, yeah, some flesh eating like virus or whatever. So he just basically had like a pussy, like a mangled like thing. What? And the raping that he was doing was he was like forcing women to let him like, blah, 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 you know, like fucking like eat their pussy out. Yeah. Like uh, so he had no dick. He's a good yeah. guy. Yeah. 
Yeah, the, just imagine him like coming. You're you're on the bed. You're all guy. fucked up on pills in this like, like like basically like the brain bug at the end of <laughs> like Starship Troopers is just making his way over to you on his like little tennis ball walker, getting ready to <laughs> just suck your pussy. And you're like, at least I'll be in Boardwalk Empire. And then it doesn't even happen. <laughs> they yeah. cut your seat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can see why you would want justice. That's terrifying. I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't know. He didn't have a dick. Yeah. Changes yeah. everything. No, they like drew pick. They like posted. Yeah, that was they like. They said it looked like an half an egg or something. Yeah, for real. No, like that the, was Epstein yeah. had an egg dick. The trial oh, was. was that Epstein? Dude, the trial was them showing his dick. What? And they like showed it to people. That's so funny. They're like, look yeah. how shitty this is. This was yeah. rape. That's so funny. Harvey Weinstein's deformed penis explained. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he was so testy. That's so fucking I mean, that should, that should be enough, dude. Mm. You don't have to lock him up. Just run articles about yeah. his deformed dick. Yeah. Yeah. His it's, it's, it's deformed genitalia is a result of a life threatening bacterial infection known as Fournier's gangrene. Jesus, what? man. Yeah. The infection can strike middle-aged men and diabetics. Weinstein, 68. This is one of those things that shouldn't be in the news. Like, this should be, like, the amount of people that are going to read this and be like, what if I get that? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I, once you said diabetes, I was like, fuck you. Yeah. What's that? A sketch? With no dick? <laughs> when bacteria enters through a cut or scratch in the genitals and spreads throughout the bloodstream, tough. some patients require tough. skin grafts, but more extreme cases such as Weinstein like you in that fucking require an operation <laughs> require an operation to remove the testicles. The, first, the deformity was first revealed in court when actress Jessica Mann, one of Weinstein's accusers, said she felt compassion for Weinstein after she saw his <laughs> deformed genitalia, which appeared to have scarring as if from burns in his nether region, according to writer Phoebe Eaton. Nice gal. Yeah. Well, she was three- take compassion upon my genitals, dude. Yeah. Like, Aw. This gal take care of this guy. <laughs> Mann said her first impression was that Weinstein might be intersex. Nice. Yeah. Was that like genderqueer? No, it's it's like medically oh. you have ambiguous genitalia. <gasps> and then they assign the gender at birth pretty much. They flip a coin or like they're like, This is gonna be a boy, this is gonna be a girl. What? Yeah. And then people grow up and they're like, I don't feel right. Yeah. Yeah. Eden describes how well. Weinstein's hapless assistants were often dispatched to secure Caverject, the drug that is directly injected into the penis before intercourse can cause an erection. He did. <laughs> Damn, I had no idea. Yeah. I had a whole different picture of Epstein, dude. Weinstein. Or, my bad, Weinstein. I can't, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're very different. We grabbed the thing out in the hall, Noah, or one of the display thing where you have to read an oh, ad. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, um, guys, you excited to read ads? Yeah, you got. Yeah. It. We're gonna get a teleprompter for the Freedom. That'd be tight. They asked to nice. put them yeah. up. You know what I really wanted to do? What's that a chick? Soon in the thing. Put what up? The ads. You uh, know what I really wanted to do is well, we're get, halfway. Oh good. If I could get no, we're not. old, uh, uh, like old TV cameras from like uh, like BBC seventies. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I think they cost like millions of dollars each. You show. can just get a regular camera and add that filter. No. Who is she? no, no. I mean, like the act. I want Real the actual. Woman. Yeah, yeah. Instagram model. I hear you, guys. Matt and Shane's secret podcast is brought to you by Displate. Want your very own one of those in your room? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This place one of a kind. Are you poster. in fifth grade? Are you? Hey, hey! Your poster comes with a magnetic sticker. Just pop it on the wall and hang your poster. No power tools. No wall damage. You can easily switch it out for another poster, dude. That's the sickest part. In case your mom's coming, dude. In case your mom's coming in the room, you tear it down and you can put up something else. Uh, they have millions of designs available and officially licensed designs from Star Wars, Netflix, Call of Duty, and more. Whoa. Click the link in our descri- description. I don't know if it's in there. It'll be some of our favorites and get your own sexy lady. Ooh! Save twenty five percent if you buy one or two, and get twenty nine percent off when you buy three or more. I hate this. The discount will be automatically applied to your cart when you click our link. Use the code Drenched when you visit Displate.com to get the discount. That's Displate.com code Drenched. Did they talk about that thirty four percent discount too? They no, this is, now they dropped I, it, dude. Just, as, a, as a producer, there might be one one thing with this is yeah. I don't I cannot understand the word you're saying. Discplate.com. Mm-hmm. Displate. Dis. Displate. Displate. 
D-I-S-P-L-D-I-S-P-L-D-I-S-P-L-D-I-S-P-L-D-I-S-P-L-D-I-S-P-L-D-I-S-P-L-D-I-S-P-L-D-I-S-P-L-D-I-S-P-L-
Don't forget to apply the aluminum-free ultra-premium deodorant for the cologne-quality scent on the go. Mm. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their Platinum Package 4.0, the Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. The Platinum Package 4.0 covers all of your bases from head to toe. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code drenched at manscaped.com. Matt, right. great job. Dude, what do you know about fucking... I feel like these ads premium? got fucking longer, They dude. did, man. They're getting fucking greedy. These fuckers this. are getting greedy. The dude. ultra premium... I love how, too, when advertisers can just make up words and be ultra like, this premium. is ultra premium deluxe. Don't shit on them, dude. No, it's something... I, I, I like when people good. respect the... Exactness like of language. They stole that from gas companies. Mm -hmm. Ultra Again, premium, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like I, Manscaped. Um, I like the boxers. They're nice. I, I honestly, the the toiletry kit is really nice. This was this it is, is this is yeah. the best sponsor we ever had. Which one? The, the pants. I'm not, I'm not saying the name because they fucking they shut. Good job. <laughs> they shystered me on the on the pay. What do you mean shyster? They want you some, guys, dude. Yeah. They you guys him. Yeah. What do you mean you guys? <laughs> they you nine eleven. When, yeah, I, do with, when, I, when yeah. I do with new yeah. sponsors, yeah. Like, is I give them cool a test guy, read. Cool Abandoning Germany guys. after World War One. <laughs> you guys, dude, Germany. First of selling all. Germany after World War One. Oh my! What you God. guys did to the Ooh. German people? <laughs> yeah, they hoarded all the gold in Spain in fourteen hundred of them. Yeah. I would get. I, I would do a deal with. This is just boring, but I would do a deal with sponsors. You give them a test read for a, like a discounted rate, with the understanding that if they bought more reads and they make up the difference on the next buy. Yeah. You know, and so they were like, "Yeah, sounds good." And then they bought the read, and then they were like, "Yeah, is there any way we get the test rate for all of the reads?" You guys like, should do commercials. On that, that would be tight. Of, it, yeah. Like for real, just film sketches. Well, for yeah, we're gonna start an advert. That's part of it. I yeah. already got. That's already in the yeah. works. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. No, this is all about advertising. Yeah, we're starting we don't care about a separate at all. ad agency and do our own commercial breaks for sponsors. Yeah. yeah. And charge eighty bill eighty billion dollars. Eighty for billion. Ad. Yeah. Because it's a trillion dollar industry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where's our piece? You yeah. Know? I can't I think, wait for my slice. Guys, I'm I'm really excited to see what happens with the Adam Freeland Dude, show. I'm pumped, Adamfreelandshow.com. We, we're pretty we spent, pumped. Look, I'm about to we're about to leave right now and drop we're twenty thousand dollars on a fucking yeah, we're signing our studio right after this. I'm fucking excited. It's going to be so if good. If you go to yeah. patreon.com slash come town, which is the piggy bank for the Adam Freeland It's show. about to change. It's coffers. Yeah, once it's we figure change, out, for some reason I'm locked out for making any change to the Patreon. Why not just leave yeah. it as it is? I don't just know, it'd be confusing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Come we'll figure it out with them. Name on, yeah, we'll figure yeah. it out with them. Yeah, it's the Adam Freeland show now. Bigger, better, more Semitic. More lib. Yep. Mm -hmm. International. Center we got left. Simon Pegg on. Yeah. <laughs> Very sort of British comedy. More intellectual. <laughs> yeah. I guess yeah. that's what we're leaning into. Yeah. We're going to have like, have you seen these cheeky photos of Harvey Weinstein's penis? Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like satire, you know, it's, it's, it's more. Yeah. It, it speaks to society because what like, is his penis anyway? It's you like know? Mobile, mobile phones. It's, like mobile, it's about mobile phones. It's about his penis. Yeah, yeah. And in a, and in a lot of ways, it's about society. That's when right. When you combine the two of them. It's kind of like a, yeah, that Th kind of vibe. That's kind of, that's kind of like good Simon, evolution. what Simon Pegg does. Yeah. Saying, yeah. So. It's a good evolution. Yeah. It's more yeah. big picture. Simon Pegg is coming on the show. Yeah. You guarantee it. Yeah. <laughs> we we found it. Down Simon Pegg got, now. <laughs> when you was in school, did people call you Semen Pig? Yeah. That'd be a good Is that question. your nickname? Yeah. Do people call you, they call That'd you little question. semen pig slut boy <laughs> in your elementary school days or whatever they call it over there in Jolly O. Um, before we go, yeah. can you tell us one debate, dude? Yes. I need to hear about I did. I did a Lincoln Douglas debate. No, no, but give me a topic that you won. Uh, we did one about No Child Left Behind, mm. the 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 Bush the administration's Bush, education. No, you had to do both sides. Oh, okay. Oh, Come that's on, bro. Like I don't believe in anything, man. True. I'll that's be anyone for any. Dude, I'm I'm on this show right now. I'm doing like anti Chinese, uh, anti Semitic, yeah, non Jewish comedy. This is just that's not our you vibe. find me on the. <laughs> no, we just <laughs> brought that evil vibe in no, here, dude. No, no, we just thought we were trying to meet you, dude. We actually have pivoted to more. We already did pivot to. I live. wish you had told me. I wouldn't have showed up dropping. I wouldn't have said that stuff about <laughs> sending black people back to Africa. You, know, you said rewind history. You're talking about rewinding. I was. I didn't get to make my whole point. Yeah, you're talking about <laughs> you talking about hating the colonialism. rewind on colonialism. I be, exactly, yeah. I which feel is like actually that, pretty progressive. That could be taken out. Extremely of Extremely progressive. It know? could be taken out of context. And I'll, I'll have to make a very long post on social media yeah. that makes it worse. It was yep. like, look, no, you, I you, only said sending them back to Africa to make a. I said we would do that <laughs> as an apology to Native Americans. <laughs> and if you listen to what I actually said uh -huh. for once, the context. Yeah, yeah, it's important. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'll clean it up. Don't worry. I'm really good at that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Getting out of controversies, they call me the the Jew weasel of <laughs> of saying the N word. Yeah. That's my nickname. You're the Papa John's. Yeah, yeah, they call me the, the Jew Teflon weasel Dawn. of N word saying. Yeah, no, we have we we're hiring a big staff, big writer staff. Trans, um, yeah, no, we got no Simon Pegg in the room. No. Yeah. Simon Pegg's in the writers' room also. We got Dan Lakata. We got the Sweater Brothers. We got the Sweater <laughs> Brothers. Lakata. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sponsors are lining up. We We've haven't been really talking about. The, do you know these fellows, the Sweater Brothers? Mm-hmm. But they're, they're like they're, we're we got them a, in the room. We're gonna do a riff from one of the from the podcast from two weeks ago that neither of us actually remember. I don't remember Adam what the riff it. was. <laughs> Go, listen, guys, they're mom. <laughs> Monsters. What was the joke? Oh, that right, they're right. Yeah, was it? Don't fucking ask for help. It's you're the star now. Oh, yeah. True. I was you no, get no, Nick knocked Nick knocked me knocked me off course. I was I was ready to fire. It's funny no. that red light comes I'm on. Booked. Adam, I'm sorry, Adam gets real bashful and shy. Listen, you gotta gonna, see this listen, monster when the lights off. Listen, dude. we we have we have to get ready ready for on camera. Mm-hmm. I mean, like True, this yeah. is a new thing for us. I'm you uncomfortable, are, but I'm on unco- uncomfortable off camera also. Yeah, you know, you, you play it up be, a little. You're real shy, bashful, heartthrob on camera. I know, Off that's, camera, that's you're a real vibe. fucking dick. Yeah. I'm a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you're like, I'm where's my coffee? You fucking boop. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, sitting in here eating water. My girlfriend's like, like, she's like where's the fucking coffee? I yeah. thought that in a nice American like shit home, in this apartment. Like shit. Where's what the did coffee? you do in here? It smells like shit in here. You fucked up the watermelon. Yeah, you cut it wrong. I thought that's our girlfriend. Ooh, While we're in this apartment. sharing, that's his mentality. When it comes to women, it's sharing. No, I just come on. I appreciate the hospitality. Just, you dude. could have you could have had a coffee maybe for the guests, you know, with a mug. Get his ass out of yeah. this is where we got to lean <laughs> into this. Had a you could have. He's right. You could have had a coffee for the guests. You could have had it with a Matt and Shane mug. That would be nice. Yeah. You know how stressed out we are. We got to go. He's about to spend twenty thousand dollars. I on hate studio. spending money. Yeah. And the least you could have done is get him a coffee. Why so do you not like spending money? Watermelon. I, I don't like spending. <laughs> I didn't even bring the fucking watermelon. Yeah. No. Yeah. You thought yeah. this Noah would be a funny. Watermelon. Oh, we're gonna have a racist on the show. Let's cut up watermelon to see if he's. <laughs> oh yeah. I know yeah, exactly yeah. what that, that was. was. Nice as soon as I got pot. in here, that was a that was a. Let's see if we can make Mullen say something racist. They're trying to catch a predator. It's one hundred percent exactly. That's Chris Hansen We're not going to fall for that watermelon. shit anymore. Yeah. No. Let's see if he makes the obvious joke about a bowl of watermelon in this stinky <laughs> dark apartment. <laughs> you think I'm dumb. You think, look, this guy, why you have that over there? And you put it in my line of sight. Let's see if he says anything about the golden monkey. No, that wasn't in here before I oh got it. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm just impressed with your evolution. I'm you surprised you didn't even put the, you line these up and do like a little menorah thing. Behind yeah, a little Shabbos head. candles over like, there. Let's, see if, think make, let's see if we can get him to make a Hanukkah joke. <laughs> Every other episode of the show doesn't exist and it's yeah. in here just trying to bait me. Yeah. Set me up. They got Anyways. Moneyball playing on the TV right Moneyball now. Moneyball rules. And I'm like, they're Moneyball saving so much money on this team. Yeah. You could do it cheaply, Nick. I've been saying. Yeah. We're going to do just our own cha- Moneyball. You trade for I'm going to be Jonah Hill and Adam's going to be baseball. Yeah, I'm going to be baseball. R.I.P., by the way. Jonah Hill died? Jonah Hill died. Jeremy Giambi. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah, he did die. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Jeremy Giambi. Somebody else died. There's been a lot of people dying this week. Uh, I guess, you know what? It's just podcast ending. <laughs> what? Didn't uh, the the Bodega Boys, they just, they're done, too. They died? Yesterday. Wow. They died. They had a they falling out. They broke up? Yeah. What did they fall out about? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It happens, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the Adam Friedland Show. <laughs> yeah, that was actually it. All right, we Nick should we, I, let's let's go ahead and call it a podcast. Nick. Okay, yeah. Unless you guys want to keep it rolling. Wait, you didn't no, like you, this? Let's, Adam, maybe I do like a couple it. more Adam. plugs for the camera for uh, the Adam Friedland Show. Show him that. Show him that star quality that we're going to be just putting. Yeah, out. get a close up on Adam. Yeah, I got to take a piss. Ladies and gentlemen, the Adam Friedland Show. <laughs> I'm gonna be the, like the Paul Schaefer kind of in. Yeah, yeah, I got a keyboard. Piano, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're going to sing? Yep. I'm going to sing. I'll have the piano. Taste. Well, not without my keyboard. Right. Yeah. No, not on me. On him. Keep it on him. What the your fans are the dogs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call them the dog. 
What's up? It's Adam Friedland here. I'm a comedian. I'm just speaking directly into camera right now to all the dogs. I'm st- we're starting a new podcast. That's a live TV show. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's a talk it, show. It is a talk show. It's like the Wow Wow West. It's going to be like something you've never seen. It's not going to be like the Wow Wow, but it's going to be the Adam Friedland show. It's going to be kind of like brand the wow, new. Wow, here, look, real quick. Just yeah, interrupt. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this will never never sell any of your products as like something else. Especially what do you mean? But people want a reference. No, they do not. That's, Don't they want it? That's how you get the money. That's not how you get the audience. That's when you're. That's sure. the elevator. As far pitch. as the audience is concerned, God, this guy is, ne- nobody's done anything like this before. Yeah, yeah. We're doing something that no one's ever, truly, that no one's ever done before. It's gonna, it's gonna what be are you like saying the, right now? Wow, wow. It's groundbreaking. Oh, it's really? like, <laughs> going to be exactly. It's wow, gonna be, wow. It's gonna be just 100%. Like, <laughs> wow, wow. We but, are making. Yeah. But we're making a revamped. TV show, Nick and I, right now. And if you're fans of this podcast or fans of Come Town, I think you're gonna like what we have cooking. Okay, so uh, is that what you go to Patreon? Bigger picture than that. Yeah, not yeah, if, yeah, not yeah. if you're. Yeah, Come Town. Uh, what's fans, gonna fine. change? What's gonna change? Yeah, what's gonna macro change? perspective? Fuck Come Town. Come Town's done. It's this done. is gonna be. This is going to change the course of humanity. It will. There you go. It, quite literally, it will. This, TV. I don't, I'm 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 hesitant to even call it a TV show because it's going to be more like a an event, like a historical <laughs> event. Yes, it will. Like the dropping yeah. of atom the atomic bomb, but like, <laughs> but a good thing. You know, like yeah. imagine if there was like a like a good nine eleven. It's going to be like atomic a- bomb or a good Holocaust even. <laughs> Imagine like the imagine the exact opposite imagine. of six million Jews being liquidated. Yeah, so imagine six Europe. million Jews driving. Like how bad that feels, but the good like the opposite side. So you're like, yeah. wow, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we just no, got I, six million. Yeah, like you forced, new, new you Jews. forced them to yeah. work. Yeah. And they were like, yeah. we actually like this. Something things like, people are like excited <laughs> about. You know, yeah, something- I don't feel like if you got six million more Jews, people would be like, okay. Fuck. You know? But imagine six million. Imagine PlayStation six million is coming out. <laughs> right. Yeah. We're skipping. So we're skipping. We're all skipping from five to six right million. To PlayStation yeah. You don't have million. to wait anymore. And that's what the yeah. Adam Friedland show is going to be. It's, it's going to be PlayStation like a, six million. It'll be a, like, like a where million. were you moment yeah. where you're like, where was I when Kennedy's brain was splattered <laughs> when, all over the when, back when, of the limousine? <laughs> but kinda, good. Yeah. But good. Yeah. yeah. Imagine the bullet went through fucking uh, Onassis's <laughs> pussy and it got j- pussy juice all over everyone in Texas's dick yeah. and they're like that feels so good that we're gonna stop being racist right now we're done with it we're done with it and then we, there's no civil rights there's no right. civil rights movement unnecessary they willingly the Klan they take off they turn the hats in yeah they go into they march into the police station they yeah. hand over their hats they got and a badges. tear running down their face yeah and they're like we just got the be- we got the queen's pussy yeah so now we don't need to be racist we anymore. all got t- Technically, pussy from the president's wife, and that's what the Adam. And that, you're shows. saying that's what the new show is going to be. It's going to be PlayStation like Six, Jackie Onassis, pussy juice quality. Yeah, that kind of vibe. <laughs> yeah, and with Simon Pegg, by the way, Simon, yeah. Simon yeah. Pegg, without yeah. a doubt, he's going to be on the show. Yeah. And now, now, Adam, you you say that because that was the producer pitching it. I'd like, to, you, yeah, dude, true. That's true. the thing. You what got, the got, fuck's going what on? I mean. dude. Wholesale. Okay. He gets the whole thing. That's the smorgasbord. Right. You pick and choose. Take what you want. Probably want to drop the thing about the Holocaust. How we got out there you know just say playstation oh, I mean, they 6 seem million to like the holocaust and nobody thing. needs to know the 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 you know probably Who best seems to like it? i hate the holocaust you got, yeah. what, i hate the holocaust. the holocaust what are you Dude, talking if I was about back then i would have stopped that yeah. i would have been one of the How guys would you who stopped, stopped it? it yeah it's broken and like i would have been like there's six million cowards that <laughs> didn't resist <laughs> I definitely would have been over there doing radio, trying to make things, trying yeah, to lighten yeah, the mood yeah, yeah, at least. Yeah, trying to do Send some bits. Mass, hey. yeah, 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 yeah. I would have a, right, I, I would have a big microwave I... satellite just aimed at the concentration camp, <laughs> uh-huh. being like, "Who's on first? <laughs> the Chinese guy? You don't say." And like that's this is the best I can do for these folks. <laughs> They, they have a good sense of humor. They'd be cracking up in there. They'd be yeah. like, he's not bad. In the camps? Oh, my yeah. God. The, apparently, there were legendary open mics yeah. at the yeah. camps. Really? They were doing bits. They were bringing down the house. They said that uh, that's where Take My Wife came from. It was mm-hmm. actually Auschwitz. Well, he said yeah. it to a guard? Yeah, he was like, please. Take her, not me, Take please. My wife. <laughs> and they were like, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, this guy, he's a natural entertainer. It's so funny. The Germans really... We got comedy, and they they got like a stable market economy. You know, they had that their own. Like the deal. Uh, you guys have a pretty good economy, dude. They they had their own uh, version of the know. Office. Did you know that? <laughs> Who? There's a German office. Yeah, German TV. They like make versions of every. They had their own Married with Children. 
what but the off the german because you know it's the german language so it's like you know bum, bum, ba, da, ba, da, ba, it's all the shots and then it's but like just <laughs> it's like, you're like you're whatever the sorry <laughs> but that's that's how you have to say it in their language it's yeah. got to be that volume and it has like some if german al bundy Wait, which one was yeah german al bundy wasn't he kind of like conservative for sure is it regular al yeah, bundy he didn't was fuck yeah his but wife. wasn't al bundy like a he was like a conservative man Definitely. If kind you did of, yeah. that in Germany, that'd be pretty brutal. Yeah. Like he wasn't he kind of like a nationalist? He was like, I love this country, drinking beers and shit. I I've never seen the German married with children. But wouldn't the German married with children it. be a little yeah. bit like yeah, yeah. hey? Yeah, it's a, it was a lot about cleansing the fatherland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and not we should fucking see if we your can get wife. the German Simon <laughs> Pegg. It'd be on. like Peg. <laughs> we should get German Simon Pegg on yeah. Oh yeah. The Dude, the the show's called Hilf Mean Family Spint. Yeah, he was really? family and spin. <laughs> Dude, that was the best show. Help of all my time. family is spl- splint. What <laughs> is it? Help my family is what? That's German Al Bundy. Help my family spin. Yeah. Is he cool? Oh, they did a good job of copying us. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty good. Yeah. Do you remember the shirts? No, ma'am. That was yeah. pretty funny. We should get some of those for the show. We should. Yeah. But it says yes, ma'am, and but there's Kamala yes, on ma'am. there. Yeah, you guys think about RBG. having a studio audience. At and then all? you know what we get? It's a, it we're says yes. Up to it. We get a shirt for the Adam Friedman show. It says yes, ma'am. There's a picture of Kamala with a no sign through her face, but then there's a bigger no sign that goes over that one. Yeah, yeah. so it cancels so it out. Yeah, we're it's saying like your no fingers are crossed. To the no, yeah. Kamala. Yeah, that's smart. The Al Bu- German Al Bundy's called Jump Strunk. Jump Jump Strunk. Strunk. It's his name. Yeah, Jump Strunk. Jump is, it, is his strunk? daughter a piece of ass still? <laughs> yeah, she's pretty hot. Jump strunk. I bet German fucking German Al Kelly's Bundy's wife or daughter's hot as shit. Yeah, yeah. They uh, they only ran twenty six episodes, I think. <sighs> Translates to help my family is crazy. No, nah, that's funny. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> You're pretty close there. Yeah. Um. Guys, check out the show when it comes out. It's going to be good. Yeah. What's are you, deciding, are you deciding the, to wrap the, up our podcast? Plug the Patreon no. for him again, Adam. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Comtown. Uh, that's, we, we're spending all our own money. You guys are going to literally. invest in yourselves right after this. Mm-hmm. Nice. We're literally spending so much money yeah, on this. Almost, and dude. we've like committed. We're it's like hiring an entire staff and stuff. And uh, for the first time, we're going to try in nice. our careers. You guys are going to hire a staff? Yeah, yeah. Dude, we're gonna get a writing staff. We're gonna have, we got we already got a DP. We got fucking oh shit. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah, dude, it's gonna, it's gonna be, be awesome. Fun. Gonna Are you guys gonna get a studio audience or no? I don't know if we can do that really, just because it's like the size of the it's boy, studio. It's, it's not the size; it's the air conditioning. It's like gonna get fucking. It's gonna, be it's gonna get fucking hot. I wanna oh, I wanna go to Times Square and terrible. bark uh, like tourists and just have them come in and. Just, like, that's the thing is, is the show will be funny if, it. if it's if uh, he's drenched in sweat. Yeah, entirely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be very, once you, the room is already way hot, but once you get those lights going, yeah, he's in there yeah. and it's I'm making him do take after yeah. take after take. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be really fantastic. I can't wait. How do you feel about it? Are you? I'm stoked, dude. I think I like for the first time I'm excited. Yeah, real talk. Like it, it will probably suck. Really, really happy. And excited right yeah, now, in but it's so much yeah. fun to like. That's how we do all the time. That's this how we just all the time. Yeah, that's just your life. <laughs> no, come town really became wow. like a fucking burden the last couple yeah. years. Yeah, you oh, yeah. Like, no, I mean, I think we're like, yeah, we're gonna we're doing something new, and that's kind of put some wind in our sails. You guys mm-hmm. are like eat, pray, love right now. Post divorce. No, that's out. Ian level. <laughs> no, we're not there. We're you guys not are there. like, it's time to go. Look, yeah. there's been a divorce. Now it's time to have fun. Yeah. You guys are triangulated. Now you're just purely symbiotic. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get my groove back in Jamaica. I'm gonna be a muscular, <laughs> a muscular man, <laughs> Tay Diggs style man. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be at that studio all the time. There's like a production office there. You're gonna be I'm in. gonna be in there. I'm gonna be just been all day. Nick's every gonna day. live there. Basically, you guys yeah. gotta come check out the, the Phil Spector. The That'd be awesome. Spectre. Yeah, yeah. We're stoked. Yeah, we're meeting with production designers tomorrow. They're gonna build out a fucking set. Dude, we're I don't want to. So I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we uh, shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't even have said that it was gonna be like. Wow, wow. That's West. it for the podcast. Yeah, I know. <laughs> thank, thank you guys. guys. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you guys. Thanks for having us, dogs. Dude, thank you. Yeah, Bye. thanks for having us.